Three, two, Go. one. We're live. Go. Hello and welcome to the Seal Podcast. Well, are we Sorry, are we live now? <laughs> no, we're not live. I just put us on live for no reason. I can't keep up with him. If we're live, and then it's going to start, right? Yeah, you, you, well, we are already. Is started, that the right so. number? Have we gotten the okay. number right? Oh. Hopefully. Everyone enjoying the peek behind the curtain? If anybody's <laughs> watching. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Seal Podcast, episode number one hundred twenty-six. Uh, for some time in May, I don't even—I have no idea what. What's the date today? Twentieth of twentieth of May, twentieth. Uh, I am your host Fraser. I'm joined on my left by Pilch. Good evening. On my right by Dave. Hello. And bringing up the cidery rear is Neil. Hello. <laughs> hey. Uh, welcome, gents. Uh, it's good to be back on this lovely Friday. Beautiful weather here. I hope you guys are enjoying some nice weather where you are. Um, we made it. We got started. Oh, I hear something going down in the background there. Right. Poo's mm-hmm. making a cup of tea, honey. Dishwasher. Yeah. Going to <laughs> <laughs> Just had a curry earlier. <laughs> so, so it's never without its uh, challenges, is it? Uh, what? Getting this thing together. Getting this thing together anyway. But yeah, um, yeah so everyone's all right, are they? Is some nice teas? Do we need to get the pleasant trees out of the way? Don't have to be that pleasant. All right, good. All right, well, (laughs) then let's uh, let's waddle uh, straight into footy. Fantasy (laughs) League. Fantasy Fantasy League. League. Yep, come on, this is your baby. Hold on a minute, I've got to press the right Don't need to talk about the cup, but let's talk about the league. (sighs) Okay, well, we'll talk about the league. I was top scorer last week. Should we talk about that? Sure. I got 85 Um, points. James Madison, Capitan. Lovely job, Lee. Yeah, Thank you very he much. He helped you deliver for the second week. Yeah. He did indeed. I didn't have him. I put him in this week, didn't I? Don't think I had him last week. I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, captained him this week. That was a good move. Um, you got 77 points. Looking pretty rosy up at the top there. Nearly yeah, 30 points. I for took, a, I took the. I had already done my team and then Salah got injured. So then I took Salah out. Emergency meeting I had with myself and we took Salah out. And uh, and I went against my advice and I took a four-point hit to put in that Leicester bloke. I can't remember his name now. But Barnes. anyway, I put him in. Barnes? I put him in and captained him. Oof. And he got me a wedge of points too. So yeah. that, that He was the second highest nice. Leicester scorer, I think. Yeah. So that was a beaut. Yeah, yeah. Leicester had a good week, so uh, anyone who had Leicester players did all right. Uh, well, have we got? So yeah, I think. Well, Vince had a bit of a not so good week, so we say fifty-eight points. Uh, I was playing him in the cup, so I'm through in the cup. So that's good then. Uh, it was good for me. Well, not so good for him. So yeah, twenty-nine points. Gap at the top. Christian, 20 further points behind in third. I've moved up to fourth. Had a nice week. So I'm 60 points behind Christian. Now I can't see me catching up to get third. That would be an unreal game. So um, the battle between my son and my wife was uh, finished in my wife's favour in the cup semi final. So it's me versus my wife in the final. <laughs> <of the cup. laughs> Oh, uh, that's brilliant. Yeah. So she's obviously getting... She's only like, yeah, you definitely want to put Gilfie Sigurdsson in. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I'm going to just copy Scott's team. Because uh, he's got all the best players. Um, but yeah, she's She's been doing it on her own, to be fair. And uh, my son uh, docked, docked himself about 12 points last week and, and still didn't score as many points as my wife, so... It was quite bad for him last week. Oh, well. How did he um, take it? Oh, he's, he, you know, he's playing F1 upstairs. He doesn't care anymore. They move on quick. <laughs> um, So, yeah, one more week to go. One more round of fixtures. All 4 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, only 11 players unless you've kept, kept your bench boost back for the last week, I guess. Um, but we'll see who turns out the winner. I don't know if it will. I think it will probably be updated Sunday evening, Sunday night, about 10-ish. Well, maybe late earlier. 
because they're all at the same time. So with a bit of yeah. luck, we'll know relatively early. But yeah, with a bit of luck, it could be show. a seal podcast one, two, league and cup. Well, yeah, right? the, the league cup double, yeah, maybe. But uh, I can't see me getting second in the league, that's for sure. Oh, no, one, two, no. Well, I, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll see. I'll, uh, I, I'll it... take the uh, Europa Cup place or whatever. Uh, what do I get? I don't know what it is. You don't get in the Champions League for winning the FA Cup, do you? No. 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 Don't get nothing. Do you not? You don't get in the Europa League? I don't think so. Uh, not anymore, I don't think. Don't you get to go into that other cup at the end of the season or something? Wasn't it the league winners play the FA Cup winners? What the Community That's Shield? A charity Shield, yeah. yeah. Not charity, charity Shield charity anymore. Shield. Uh, uh, Probably sponsored sorry. by some charity shield. shady business mm. uh, nowadays. But um, Trip, Crypto dot com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll be out of business by then anyway. So. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, well, that's um, all looking very exciting for the fantasy league then. So yeah, uh, I don't quite know how it works. If because if everyone is in it, if they just start again next season, they'll automatically be entered in the league. Is it something like that? Yeah, next season. So uh, yeah, if you just check in, probably if you know maybe a month or so before the season, you know, or a couple of weeks before the season's supposed to start, you can renew the league that you were in. As long as I, as long as I don't know who owns the league, but it's this is my league, right? Yeah, yeah, so as long as you renew it, then everyone else can renew in renew their position in the league, and then we hopefully we'll have some more people in. I'd be very surprised yeah. if we didn't have a few more people in. Yeah, you'll have to remind me because I I will put a, well, a team in. I think it yeah it starts about a month before the league actual league starts. I think something like that. You'll have to yeah. remind me. I I don't follow. This. Have you sign? Yeah, if you could sign up as soon as possible, then you'll get a reminder email anyway. But we'll remind you. We'll remind you because we'll be getting those emails too. So, so we'll mm. remind people on the podcast. We'll have to put uh, something in the show notes as well where to sign up and stuff. Yeah, we'll get it out there. Up near it yeah, figure, we'll figure that out. We can just add more stuff to the show notes that we never tell anyone about. <laughs> uh, okay, Fantasy League, that's great. Looking forward to the finale. Seal Twitch and YouTube. We can certainly talk about YouTube. Because we yeah. got slapped, didn't we? We got a bit of a slap on the wrist. We got a slap there's, on the hence, wrist. Hence, there's no last week's show on YouTube this week because it was not allowed for some reason. Yeah, We haven't had a, a strike, but we're, we've uh, been told we can't <sighs> have, can't show last week's video. Nothing seedy happened, I can assure you of that. <laughs> Anyone who did watch it, it is available on Twitch for another week, but uh, we haven't had anything off Twitch, but... Uh, I think it may have been down to the gameplay videos, so is the only thing I can think of. But uh, we're not sure. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't really been able to figure it's it. It's been out, fine so. every other week, so I don't know what exactly happened last week. But uh, it could have been the title of the video, Eurovision, misleading. But who yeah, knows? That would be, be my fault if it was. Well, it was my fault for putting it on the video. I could have just left it. So. Well, it weren't my fault. No, <laughs> well, you don't do any work, not. so. <laughs> Lucky if you uh, show up. All right. So, and I don't. Did we do? I think there was quite a bit of streaming last weekend, wasn't there? I think we had. I did quite a bit, or I fired it up for most of the time I was on on the Sunday. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, yeah. We did a bit on uh, one of the games we we're going to talk about that we played together. Yeah. So that was uh, nice that we got a bit of content uh, out there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anything on the Discord? we need to catch up with uh um, yes no was this week? i'm not aware of anything there's been some chat in the game chat um uh the real defoe um uh saying about his his creating a dedicated server for the rising which i'll be talking about uh, later i haven't actually joined it yet um i did I was thinking about doing it earlier, but I ran out of time. Um, so yeah, so somebody uh, has... well, there was obviously a bit of chat around the uh, the playoffs and uh, and various football matters. Yeah, are we co are we covering that, or do we want to talk a little looks, bit about? I think that we'll be now. talking about a bit of footy. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll cut, we'll get to that and then um, shortly. Uh, okay, well, then let, I'll assume there's nothing really more to talk about for Discord. 
We do have some tweets. I figure I've got them all on my super duper printout here. Uh, Marty, friend of the show, Greasy Fish Lips. Afternoon, all. Hope you're all okay and not been pumped full of drugs like I have this week. Marty, you do need to know that we're all thinking of you. Sorry, he's not writing that. Um, I'm saying that. You do need to know that we're all thinking of you, mate. We see the, see the stuff that you put there and, um, you know, you, um, you know, all power to you. And, uh, you know, obviously hope it's all going as well as it can do. Um, he says, my question for you, lovely chaps, this week is, what's the scariest video game you have ever played? Ooh. <laughs> He says, for myself, it was playing Resident Evil 7 Biohazard in VR on the PlayStation. Scary as. Mm. I'll go first. Outlast was the scariest game I've played, I think. Was that the one where you had the camera? Yeah. It was mm. shit. I had to keep putting back. Oh, fucking the Far Cry is good. <laughs> I liked it. I finished it. Yeah. Yeah, so someone just wandering oh, around following you all the time and fucking it's like... Blair Witch in it, and you just literally got, you can only see fucking five foot in front of you. It was a good game. Good mm. game. Mm. 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 I, I remember the second one. Mm. 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 I remember people talking about it. I didn't get on with it. I thought it was a janky piece of shit. It was oh, a bit yeah, it was janky. It was janky. It was slow as anything. It's like, like fucking playing Gears of War, fucking chugging and clunking along. But it was good. Didn't, I don't remind, but didn't remind me of playing Gears of War. No, I mean, just the chitty, <laughs> clunky style of it, I mean. Years of bore. Bit of, ooh. <laughs> I definitely had a lot more fun playing Gears of War than playing Outlast. Um, I think mine was just Resident Evil, the first one. The the dogs jumping through the window was a jump scare. And then there was... A, I, I, I think I was a lot more arachnophobic than I am now. Um, uh, there was a spider boss. That uh, I think I passed to one of my friends when I was playing. Because <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't didn't like that. Yeah, we well, how old were you back then? You would have been what in your twenties to be scared then. No, eight, eight or Resident, nine, e Res Resident Evil. Um, I'd have been like twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's in your twenties. Well, I played that game when I was when I think I was twenty seven. So, and you're what? How old are you, Dave? Now, forty. You're only ten years younger than me. Eleven. So you would have been sixteen, right? Fifteen, sixteen. Maybe. I don't know. I, um, I can have a look when it's actually. I remember being around a mate's house. Oh, ah, I remember. We were stoned. That's what it was. <laughs> we're playing it, and we were stoned. Um, oh, yeah. So that was in my oh, entire PlayStation 16. catalog, I think. Yeah. yeah. Disgraceful behaviour. <laughs> Where's my vape? <laughs> it was normal behaviour at the time. In my day. <laughs> Did it get stoned until he was 17, 18? <laughs> um, I got Resident Evil. I was actually thinking about the exact same game, Dave, as well. But I was torn between two things, whether it was that one. I remember the thing crashing through the window. Well, first of all, don't you see the liquor? Run up the wall or something in it. Oh, well, that was mate. Resident Evil Two. I don't you know. You just remind, one of... reminded me of another game that I played that I never actually played much of. So that one shit me up, but I think Resident Evil Seven. I'm gonna go the same with Marty. I think Resident Evil Seven was fucking balls to the wall, tense. Just, yeah. I didn't get very far in in Resident Evil. I 7. didn't get out of the house. Well, I, didn't, I don't yeah, even know if I got in the house. I remember cutting my own hand off, and that was about enough for me. I was like, fuck this. Yeah. I'm not playing this anymore. I remember but, stabbing the shit out of, that, out, of you, out of my girlfriend, and then she still just kept yeah. coming back. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit fucked up, wasn't it? Did you ever play Doom 3? Oh. No. Back in the uh, day. Yeah. Yeah. The original yeah, so, uh, yeah. Right, Resident Evil. That was pretty intense, Doom, Doom 3. Resident Evil released 1996. So I'd have been 14, 15. Oh, okay. Stoned. We were mates playing it. <laughs> 14? <laughs> Outrageous. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was, that's the year I bought my first house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doom 3 was good. But I, well, I say it was good. I never actually fucking got past the thing that was crawling along the ceiling in the dark, and then it was just fucking like flickering in and out of vision. 
Yeah, that's pretty. I don't. I don't think. Maybe I should go back to that now, as a grown up. So off grown up. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, okay, mm. that's us then. Uh, Duke chimed in. He said amnesia messed him up. I've got I that. I've played it. that. I've got it. Weren't I've there... bought that. Ages ago. There's two of them. I've got. Yeah, wasn't there something, actually three something pigs? Yes, a machine for pigs or something. Is it something like that? I can't remember if I played that or not. I tried it and I thought it was a janky piece of shit. I don't know. There's a theme here, theme running here on mm. games I don't like. Oh, when you say janky piece of shit, you were like too scared to play it. Is that what you mean? No. <laughs> Are you sure it's not you shanking with a controller? Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. not one for horror games, so I don't actively seek them out. Do you like horror what? movies? No. Um, MS Ranger says, hands down, it has to be Resident Evil 7 in VR. The hairs on the back of my neck and arms when being chased was horrible, but I couldn't get enough of it. That sensation that it feels oh. so real. That? That, sensa- <laughs> that sensation that it feels so real can't be beaten by a non-VR game. I never played it in VR. No, I bet it's well intense in VR. Yeah, I guess, for sure. Um, yeah, that's good. There's... It does. Man, anything in VR is a bit, in look, you know, it's all up in your face, isn't it? At the end of the day, like, there's, I had Robo Recall on my Oculus Rift. It came with my Rift, hmm. and it's a stupid, just stand still when, well, you sort of teleport around and like stand in one place and shoot robots. But I mean, there, it is weirdly like scary in a way where like they're all just walking around in their routine and then they all fucking like whatever weird shit happens in the in the, the story of the game and then they all turn around to you and then all their eyes go fucking red and then they all start walking towards you it's like fucking hell this is a bit intense <laughs> but so anything in vr definitely amplifies all of that sort of sensory uh yeah. You well, think it's the VR? <laughs> you think it's? Do you think it's the VR? Like the fact that you're immersed in it, or is it? Yeah. The fa- I mean, no, sorry, that's the wrong. Of course, it's the VR that you're immersed in it. But do you think the VR it happens that way in VR because you can't like get away from it? Right? Literally, you know? all you can do is shut your eyes to get away from it because you you can't look anywhere. Everywhere you look, you're in the game. So yeah, right, yeah. Does that mean like that's when I could see without my fucking glasses? <laughs> Before the fucking agony of wearing VR headset, but uh, yeah, Half Life Alex has got its moments as well. To be honest, like like anything in VR can properly make you jump because it's like things jumping, like when the fucking head crabs jump at your face in Half Life Alex, and they are literally jumping at your face. It's a bit of fucking like, uh, but uh, so uh, anything a... anything in VR like that is. A, like, you imagine Alien yeah. Isolation or something like that in VR. Fucking hell. Mm. Yeah, I never played it. I watched people play it, but um, I didn't like even the the, the people playing it. I was getting <laughs> yeah. uh, scared for it. Um, the game that yeah I'm thinking of that wasn't scary. It was more just head fucky. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, Super Hot. All right. It it was, it was the idea that like, the the game that you were playing was not, wasn't the game, or the the game was reality. It it was a real head mess up, mm. weird and like, it kept on telling you that you weren't playing a game and, but you was in the game. This is this is in VR that I was playing it, and yeah, it was like a real head fuck, with while playing it and yeah that was it's not scary it was it was more psychological like this isn't a game this is reality mm. like but you're the reality that you're experiencing else is not the reality that's you're actually experiencing it was it was really weird really messed up it's sort of like unsettling yeah 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 it was more like i've got to take my heads off because like this is really weird now <laughs> Okay. Mm. Uh, 
Thanks very much, uh, Marty. Appreciate that. Uh, Lord says, uh, oh, we had a message from Lord, not so much a question, but he says, you need to go back to Tunic. Cannot remember which one of you played it and put it down. A superb game if you like Death's Door. This is like its meaner big brother. I'm near the end, but it's been difficult but enjoyable. I'm just working myself up to Elden Ring. So I started Tunic and put it down, but I didn't put it down really because I didn't like it or anything. It was just I, I just didn't have space to play it. I was working on other things. Pilch, mm -hmm. you played it, if I remember. Yeah, I played a couple of hours. I think I got a bit further than you, but I didn't I, I knew straight away that it was going to be the same. It's Death's Dawn. I didn't like that either, so... Mm. 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 So, no, we don't need to go back to that, Lord, thank you. I, I do <laughs> think at some point I will get back to that. Yeah, it sounds like a you game now. As soon as it's still, assuming it's still on, well, you know, say that. Assuming it's still on Game Pass, I will uh, get back to it at some point. But got a lot of stuff to play at the minute. Just haven't got the bandwidth. Mm. Yes, I'm a cunt for saying that. Uh, okay, uh, he's working. He's working himself up. <laughs> I hate it, right? Because my wife works in in the marketing world, right? And, and I got nothing against like, working in the marketing world, but I'll, occasionally I catch those sort of phrases, right? And they sort of, they do tend to, you know, I've got a window for that, or they, I don't have bandwidth to do that. <laughs> I can't stand it, right? Am I alone? Am I, you know, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? But you do, yeah. you do what you got to do, wanker right? wanker talk, isn't it? Yeah. It's like when you hear oh. people on that, people who like have got proper jobs, inverted commas, and they're always on their phones talking business, and they're like, it's all, it's all bollocks, isn't it? End of the day, it's like, I, you know, my job's shit at the end of the day. I realise it's shit. It serves a purpose, though. But most people, I hear them talking, I'm like, what the fuck do you do all day? All these people with proper jobs, just like, it all seem like a bit of a fucking waste of time. Yeah. Here's Keep the answer, busy. Neil. Most of us do fuck all, right? And, <laughs> I know uh, you do fuck and all. And it's not a proper job. <laughs> there you go. How's that? Mm. To make you feel better. I've mucked myself <laughs> off, haven't I? Big time. I think you do a brilliant job, mate. You don't know. But I do, because I did the same By job. By your standards, you probably. Move on, Fraser, move on. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's move on then to what we've been doing. Thank you very much for the community interaction. Uh, we've ended up on some introspection. <laughs> Uh, Neil, why don't you start us off with the big topic of the okay. week? Okay. Well, it's been footy week. Oh, more footy? Are you kidding I'm afraid me? afraid so. Well, not anymore. Because we're some. out. Not good for others. Mm. We, it was the f second leg of my, play my boys' playoffs on Monday. And as Lord no doubt knows, obviously, and loads of other is people. This, is this the loot? His team won. His team won. We're playing my team and his team won. But my team should have won. They just didn't <laughs> score any goals. Everybody's got... Nobody else fucking works. My team should have won. I mean... Yeah. No, my, my, my team have only got themselves to blame for not winning that game. Let's put it that way. Because they had enough chances to have been well ahead by half-time, I'd say. Uh, so, yeah, played really well. And then it's just a bit gutting to get to that point <clears> where... If, it would have been more gutting if we'd have got spanked, obviously, uh, and just played shit. But to play uh, really well, well, <laughs> mate, uh, I'm not sure. I would, I wouldn't have put myself through watching the entire thing if it got to four 0 to them by half time. Let's put it that way. But look, uh, look, look, this, look, I, you know what? I mean, you guys, you, your boys did well, right? They got, they got up there. They did well. They fought, you know, their heart, you know, they fought with heart this season, right? But when it came down to the crunch, you fucked it, right? Mm. I didn't fuck it. I wasn't there. My team has got another <laughs> chance to fuck it up on Sunday. So, uh... yeah. Dave's team fucked it. Yeah. My team Dave's fucked team, it. I don't, yeah, but your team, yeah, everyone wants your team to fuck it every week. So, what? <laughs> so. Yeah, my my my, my, te my team is Northampton Cobblers, just in case oh, anyone's okay. wondering. Only because I live in a general area. So. Wait, you don't have season tickets, Dave? I don't have season tickets. Do you know what? I won't be getting season tickets next year. To Cobblers? 
No, obviously not. No. <laughs> Why might you be getting season tickets to Hatters? Because like there's a waiting list of about 1,600 people now for season tickets. What? For Luton? Yeah. So I need to get on the waiting list. Right, I'd like to see how many people follow through on that. Exactly. Right, that's, that's still, yeah, like, that was oversubscribed yeah, last they're all, year. They're waiting for the Premiership season tickets. No, 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 no. No, that, it's that, to do with... Is, uh, there's million only 7,000-something season tickets. So, they sell quick. So, I need to get on the list. Because when we get to the new stadium, there might be 14,000. Oh, new stadium. Oh, I'll get him. What new stadium is that then? Power Court. How are you paying for that then? I'm not paying for it. Double, double the ticket prices. <laughs> like yeah. the way you're prepared to share in all the glory <laughs> when it rolls itself around in the wheelbarrow of footy. We ain't but, getting a new but, stadium. But... I'm not paying for it. Well, I ain't paying for it, am I? I didn't I, lose. I, I ain't got the money for that. Can barely, <laughs> can barely afford to put me hot water on. <laughs> How many watts is your... Oh, I'm not going to spoil that. What Let's not go down that. No. Well, we will be asking you a question about wattage in a minute, just so you know. Oh, you, oh, oh, I've, to... I've prepared. <laughs> you not. can prep yourself for that. Okay. So, yeah, uh, it was a a valiant effort from the boys, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. But I know that Sumu and Lord are meeting in the playoff finals this uh, a week on Sunday. Oh, mate, they must be over the moon. They've got to go to Wembley. Their dreams Wembley. are still alive. Wembley. Are they are they meeting together or like as friends? Uh, or I don't know they'll be meeting is. up. If, if they're wearing football shirts, I don't think it's a good idea to move. Like, right, me up. It ain't gonna happen, is it? Because uh, <laughs> yeah, although they good. might they they may be able to converse, and, uh, <laughs> given what's been happening in, the, in football recently, it's all been kicking off, isn't it? Was it? Well, they'll they'd meet up, they'd get on fine, but they'd be oh they would, fine but yeah, they'd be like be like other people in. Coloured shirts might not be too happy about seeing two people in opposing <laughs> shirts. <laughs> yeah, what you know, football New- shirts have colours on. What about? Uh, I see Newcastle got um, some stick today for their away kit. Did you see this? Mm, Newcastle away kit. Yeah, it looks. Oh, it's almost what? a dead dead ringer for the Saudi Arabian kit. It is. It's green and white stripes. It's identical. Was this Shocking next season's? Thing. Is it? Yeah. Has it got the blood of you know innocent victims on it as well? <laughs> well it will end at some point. Yeah. Comes, with a, f- comes with a free head tag to the <laughs> side of it. Right? I bet the marketing team was like, "Yes, like we've got this brilliant design. We, we like we're gonna put it out. Nobody else has got anything like it. Like release it. Yeah, that's so yeah, sorry, well, Nobody else has got a kit like Forrest. Yeah, kit but the day, but Dave the and and sorry, he Dave, doesn't don't, know. He doesn't don't know. know. Saudi Arabia have bought Newcastle. Oh, have they? Oh, okay. Yes, and now there's the, the, ah. a kick in the teeth to the government. Right. They've, they've just oh. literally brought it. Oh, it's not owned by Saudi Arabia, but... Heavily just, invested, um, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh, so we're just going to bring out the national shirt as our away fucking kit. Shocking. Bunch of cunts, <laughs> they? Yeah. But yeah, it's so it's awful. You, I wonder why I fucking have no real deep down love for Chelsea most of the time because it's all just so much of it's caked in all this awful bullshit. Anyway, mm. we digress. Um, yeah, Chelsea it's all about, hasn't been, it's all about the money. The d- deal hasn't gone through for anyone to buy Chelsea yet, though. I think it fell through oh, no. this week or something. Yeah, only oh, because um, the money, the, the proceeds of the sale are going to be given to a charity, but apparently. Abramovich wants to decide which who's going <laughs> to okay. hold that money. Oh, for fuck's sake! So, the yeah, they, saying, haven't quite, they haven't quite decided which charities to, right. to, to no, fund, they, siphon they, the money out to yet. They know where mm. it's going, but the government. Yeah, Abramovich. As soon as as soon as um, as soon as the money goes from his, because obviously he can't spend any money, but as soon as it comes out of his account. Then, yeah, if it goes back, in, if it doesn't go where it's supposed to go, he's just suddenly got three billion pounds to spend somewhere. I'm sure. How much do they reckon? Anyway. Um, do they? Do they? How much do they reckon it? This the cost is 
What do they reckon the cost is? I think it's two point two point six billion. Is it? What a fucking yeah. con. What's he got? About eight and eight or ten billion he must have? Something like that. Well he's got well, it doesn't matter how much he's got now, he can only buy fucking turnips, can't he? <laughs> <laughs> do you still grow turnips? Turnips. <laughs> turnips. <laughs> Uh, okay, so anyway, so footy, yeah, what else we got? More footy? Well, we might as well talk about the mighty Spurs. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you did, uh, since I've been on, we obviously beat Arsenal. And then We did talk we about that last well. week. We haven't, yeah, but we we beat Burnley and Arsenal slipped up on Sunday, which means Tottenham are currently fourth. We need a draw against the team who have let in seventy nine goals this season. This is this is classic Spurs potential coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I know a sniff of silverware, and uh, yeah. If Don't we draw, yeah. Arsenal have got to score eleven goals. A win by eleven goals. Yeah. And they're playing. <laughs> they're playing Everton, who secured. Yeah. Everton might game, be on holiday to be fair up. they can go back to being extremely shit now but we just need yeah. to draw against the worst team in the league but That's now it turns it, out lasagna gate has struck again because apparently <laughs> oh, I, heard, I heard that today yeah that's right what what's, what's this oh, oh yeah, yeah food, food, food poisoning at Spurs gates. isn't it what's lasagna like, gate lasagna gate it was one season Spurs <laughs> just needed to beat West Ham and we would have been in the Champions League, and we lost because they went out to a restaurant the night before and all got food poisoning. <laughs> and then Arsenal jumped out over us and qualified for Champions League. <laughs> now, on Sunday, Arsenal could jump over us and qualify for Champions League, and apparently, half the fucking players have got shits. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at, look at him laughing at her in Canada. That's it's not funny. funny, mate. It's not it funny. It is, man. I'm if it happens again, mate. If it hilarious. fucking happens again. They're not, they're not going to postpone <laughs> any games, are they? Hey, you set no, the tone no, as soon as you call it Lasagna time, Gate. As soon as you call it Lasagna Gate, that fucking has me. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens. I like how it's on a par with Watergate. That's quality. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just put a potty on the side of the pitch, like, and well, you know, you know, <laughs> former Spurs players weren't too shy about just letting it out on the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a bit of Danny Yeah, it was World Cup, Mexico, wasn't it? Mexico. And he just he just sat on the grass and wiped his shit along the grass, so, <laughs> like a know, dog. Was, yeah, pretty yeah. much. He was basically <laughs> dragging his ass on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. He was down ass. his legs and he just wiped himself along the grass, cleaned it off, <laughs> and carried on. <laughs> no one wanted to mark him that night, did they? <laughs> he marked himself. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay, that's De- definitely zonal him. marking. <laughs> like, nope. Oh, he scored a hat trick again. <laughs> well, to continue oh, the no, foot, was... just to con- just to continue the footy before we say goodbye to it, Chelsea did lose in the FA Cup to to the mighty pool hey. uh, on penalties again. Yeah, well, they were. Oh. Did you see the? Oh, did you see the Rangers game on Wednesday? No, was I it Wednesday? Work. Oh, mate! When I went to work, when I went to work in the at uh, four o'clock. About four doors down, this bloke's got this massive fucking Rangers flag hanging from his roof all the way down the side of the house. When I come home at half ten, it was gone, so I assumed... (laughs) (laughs) I assumed I knew the result before I looked at the telly. (laughs) Yeah, well, mate, there were some amazing penalties, I've got to say. In that penalty shootout, some of the best penalties I've ever seen. Uh, by best, and also worst. one of the worst ones. <laughs> former Arsenal former player. Goon, I missed it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There we go. You can take the boy out of Arsenal. Mm. Yeah. Good old footy. Oh man, it's delivered today. Uh, Eurovision. Oh, well, sorry. This is Pilch. Oh. This is your your list. Yeah, Eurovision. 
Uh, they do got a few digs in uh, on Saturday when uh, I wasn't here. I would like to point out that you changed the, the night of the, uh, the podcast at very short notice. And I was otherwise engaged with a Eurovision party, yeah. which we partake of every year. You wouldn't year. have been there on the Friday anyway. You were working. I know. But you can't then move it to Saturday and then say, oh, Pilch can't come because he's watching Eurovision. Well, that's why you couldn't come. But we already knew you weren't coming on the Friday. And you were watching Eurovision. So, I, mean, I was watching Eurovision. Oh, that's brilliant, mate. It's brilliant. I love Eurovision. It's brilliant. Well, of course what you a do. fucking swizz. What a con. The why? first fucking chance we've ever got of winning. Putin. Ruined, fucking ruined by Putin had an absolute fortune on Ukraine to win the Eurovision beforehand. He's, he been, he's playing did. the long game. Man, mm. that is the long game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope that they can still host it next year. Why did the um, British guy have such a strong chance? What's so just a TikToker? Oh, it was just a, yeah. it was just a good song. What? No, I it wasn't. Was that. That. No, it's because he was making <laughs> popular on TikTok. Rest. Objection! <laughs> Objection! Dave. I don't. It was not a good song. Not that, I don't think the judges who judge um, the the actual panels, not the public side of the voting I don't think they don't, they don't watch TikTok I don't think so I don't think they listen to the music no they no, don't, really don't. <laughs> judges uh, it was good anyway we got <laughs> we, we should have won we actually did win I don't we, we we're, won. we're the real winners <clears throat> what yeah. was the U- what was the Ukraine what was the Ukraine entry like oh some old folk shit oh yeah shit yeah absolute absolute shit right. is it a, it be was, fair uh... I did there weren't many good it. songs this year. You are shitting me. Of... Sometimes it's good. There's, there's no. funny stuff and there's a big variety. This year it was a, a lot of... A big variety of shit. Dull ballads. It's good. Does it sounded like every other fucking year I've ever known. No, it was particularly bad this year. Hmm. A lot of just ballady slow so shit. You mean so everyone else this, this decided year. that Ukraine should win so they couldn't? they just made some old shit to put in it and we still tried to win even though we knew that you were claiming to win. <laughs> so we put in a really good entry because that's how shit we are I've got a feeling this was decided before mm. uh, Russia decided to invade like a month ago mate I think they, these songs were chosen yeah. a little while ago three months ago <laughs> yeah. yeah three months ago and yes they're probably what? putting in and, and uh, to us, well, Ukraine, that war's been know. going on for three months yeah, yep. not far off, I don't think. Yeah, it was the 20th of February, now, right? it? it is three months today, isn't it? Really? Jesus Christ. Mm. Only seems like yesterday. <laughs> the fond memories you had. <laughs> the fond <laughs> memories yeah. of the start. That day the <laughs> tanks <laughs> rolled in, I thought, oh, yeah. We'll be it's celebrating in a couple, a couple of days. weeks, <laughs> comrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12-day mm. plan they had. It's gone well, Amazing. Oh, well. Well, good no, luck to him, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to say after that. No, uh, where do we go from now? <laughs> where do we go from there? <laughs> I was quite surprised because typically I'm still on Facebook. And, uh, yeah, it's a good feed. I get, I, there's quite a few people in my feed who are all aboard like that. They are so excited for Eurovision when it's on. I, I was... Thank you very much for showing me that it was on YouTube. I excitedly said to my wife, "Oh look, Eurovision's uh, on! If you want to watch this, she went, I don't watch that." And then sort of just it's went and shit. Just, uh, yeah, so I miss. I didn't read the room. I would I, just say okay. we we just order in a shit ton of food, get the cocktails in, get the drinks in, and we just get absolutely smashed. So, oh yeah, it sounds like a good laugh, of course. Yeah, yeah. of course. Wave the flags and uh, and. Look at the look at the crumpet. I thought Spain were going to win. Crumpet. If you get a chance, if you get a chance, <laughs> have a look at Spain. Have a look at their their. Uh, it's worth a look. I thought they were, they were pretty high. They were um, well fancied to do all right, weren't they? Oh, this they were definitely fancied. <laughs> Got some good talent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything else then beyond or anything more for Eurovision? No, nothing. Or Pilch, anything we, else? We was robbed. 
apart from being nothing robbed. Nothing else on my list. No, nothing else. I haven't done Could have saved that for next weeks. year, shouldn't they? Should have saved this song for next year. I've got a short list, uh, which I didn't fill in here, actually, but I bought a mixer today, another piece of equipment. Oh, my God. I couldn't help God. myself. I know. You bought a what? Oh, a mixer. A... I thought you said that said cement mixer for a minute. Is that a digital a mixer? mixer? Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, it's not digital, no. It's an analog mixer just for... Uh, for what? shits and giggles. For just DJing, for, basically. Just for gathering for mixing. From now, for mixing vinyl and CDs and stuff, I want to put together some mixers with the with the stuff I have on vinyl and CD, then I needed a mixer. So, yeah, I picked up an old one, like an old Yamaha one. It's, it's, uh, it wasn't very expensive, like 70 bucks I paid for it. But it's got like proper old school VU meters on it or whatever. I think nice. I'd like to get something modern, but I'm not going to see any change. You can't be spending that money, can you? I, mm. I, you know what? I've, got, I've actually got, um, I got a tax rebate, right? <gasps> Look at him. And, uh, oh, and this is graphics card time, is it? Well, I mean, this is discussions that we could have. Like, I don't want to just burn it all on like stuff, right? I want, you know, so. Uh, have we had so this discussion with Grace? Absolutely not. No. And Does she, uh, know? she knows. Yeah. I had to ask her to send it to me. Um, please, can I have my money? <laughs> <laughs> I had to say. Um, so uh, yeah, but um, so I, I don't want to blow so what it. What you gonna do? Stock okay. stock up the freezer. <clears throat> I was looking at PCs. I was thinking about. It. I was like, hmm. And then there was a video on my PC on YouTube last night from Paul's Hardware. I watch Paul's Hardware sometimes, and I think that's what it's called. And every soft and he was doing a video like now is the time or it's all relaxed or something. You know, everything's better than it was. Yeah. This is a good time to start considering builds. But it's getting better. It's still not fucking cheap, though. Like, no, they're not going to get. They aren't cheap. Even at, at normal prices, they're not cheap. Yeah. Because you have and to pay. So, you know, for what you get. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. My machine's still running. I don't really have any major issues with it. I was possibly thinking, rather than a graphics card, is buying a new motherboard and chip. And basically everything except the, the graphics card. Why um, don't you I would just like buy a, a new PC? Because graphics card is going to be half the basically graphics card is fifty percent of the cost, right? I mean yeah. you can't escape that, right? So I don't want to spend that amount of money. You could get a, PC. a pretty good upgrade, <clears throat> I think. Don't know. Depends how much it's got. I mean, I've mm. got enough How to get. I've got enough. Rebate? No, it's good. It's it's uh, it's a good enough. Like I could buy a piece. I could definitely buy a decent gaming rig with it. But then I'm like, uh, I don't really know. Do I really? I think I I think I'd like to eke out rather than buying a full rig now. I think I'd I'd either like to to wait or possibly buy just half of it now and just get like a a board and a and a chip and whatever. Case. Uh, go on, the, graphics. Well, the, the next lot of graphics cards are looking insanely powerful, but you're going to need a new power supply and everything for those. How much is your right. power supply? What is it? How many watts? Oh, I don't know. I, but the, but here we go, Neil. This is something that you know is dear to your heart. I don't really want to increase. I don't want a PC that's going to run way more watts or whatever. Like serious, that well, is a serious. Have the power of having a shit PC then. But I have. You've seen the price it's running, running cost. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. But what were you? But Neil's shit PC like band here of where he is like this is a good everything up above this point is good and everything under it is shit like that I my sights aren't set as high as you right for for like this is the thing I don't game on 1440 at 120 no. frames right I only get right now I you only game tell. at 1080 right <laughs> I only game at 1080 at 60 at 60 frames right so my machine actually still handles everything pretty well the only thing it's not handled well is halo um you ain't got no so ray tracing I... though have you no i haven't <laughs> right but this is see this is what this is right this is what i'm trying to explain to you right i don't need that shit and i'm not missing it right i don't want to experience it either like this is you, know, then you I will don't miss want... it right so don't show me your pc when i come round to your house okay you can show me anything else you want love right? <laughs> yeah. but... 
So anyway, long story short, I'm, I think I'm going to just wait and get another year out of the PC. So I don't know. Another, I don't know. I you're going to buy a Series X now. I thought about buying another Series S. Well, that is definitely not another, PC motherboard. <laughs> put another one That's upstairs. Fraction. No, but but I would also use it a lot. Like how many pairs of speakers are you going to buy? But my speakers, <laughs> last pair of speakers, Neil, cost me sixty dollars. Right? Yeah. There's nothing. You could. So what are you saying? You're going to buy another seven pairs of speakers instead? But he's got enough room on that shelf behind him just to fit another set on top. Neil, you're not do, but Definitely. you're not doing the math properly. Like seven sets of sixty dollars speakers is like what is this? What six to seven? Four hundred twenty bucks, right. right? A new PC. How much? How much? How many? You know, it's going to cost me like probably to get. You a just good said you were going to get a motherboard PC. and a chip. That's still a grand. Okay. Oof. 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 Oh, you're well, talking, you well. talking top end. I'll tell you what. Buy a new graphics card then. If you're going to spend a grand. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll get bottlenecked on my current CPU. No, right? Right. So then you'll need a new monitor. Here we go. Need, yeah, right. see, power now, power. see, this is the problem. This is the flood. No, no. This is how the, no, the, you the just flood get a, get a 3060, which has got all your ray tracing, runs fine at 1080p, but you get your ray tracing. And that's not like a £1,000. It's not going to be a $1,000. Yeah, but then I was like, mm, mm. I think I want a 70. Yeah, that's right. it's well, a never ending. So oh, I'll just get the upgrade. I'll get the newer version. If you're going to stick at 1080, you don't need a 3070. The the problem, you know, this is the, well, okay, well, look, this is the this is the whole thing, right? It's so fucking easy to spend the money, right? Mm. That, it is if that you've got actually. It. That, that actually, a part of me is just the big game I'm playing right now is how do I not spend this money on fucking just go outside and run, go like run like a kid in a candy store and buy a fucking new PC. Yeah. Um, I can tell you how to do that. This is why I stopped listening to the show. Why? Because <laughs> Neil's going to tell you what specs you need now. No. <laughs> um, no, I told you yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. Already, yeah, I already know. Anyway, so I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, right? If you're if you're happy with your the games that you're playing, like, and there's no problem with them, like. Increasing anything is not going to do anything for you. It's not going to make anything any better. No, that's what. But yeah, Dave, you you're nailing it, mate. Like, yeah. do you remember oh. when I when I bought built the last PC? Like, I was fucking so into PUBG, but my machine was really struggling to run mm. it. And that changed when I got that new PC. I was the happiest kid on Bly. It was like fucking Christmas Day. Right, so it was like, holy shit! I can run PUBG well. I can run mm. anything I want well, and not strut. Mm. You know, it was like clouds lifting, the <sighs> sun coming out, the birds singing. Right, I don't think anything's going to give. Me, like that's the thing, right? You know, if, until and, you get to the game that you really want to play that you can't play because, like, or you know, it's really struggling. It's obvious that it's struggling. Right, it's, it's a then it's, that you, pay you the money. PUBG. It's like, what do I want versus what do I need? And I really don't need to upgrade my PC no. right now. No, no, no. You could. You do you need to feed spend... your family for the next 12 months. My family get fed. Trust me, my family is fed. <laughs> They're all right. No. So... I, just you I, that can't eat anything. If I was you, I'd just, I'd just sit on it. Like, literally just sit on it. Um... I don't literally sit on it. Put it in the bag. No, 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 just fucking, I don't know, build a seat out of it. Piles of cash. I have a cash, cash. Scrooge McDuck. It really <laughs> isn't that. No, it's only a PC's worth. It'll all go. Back it's Canadian money. It's like I'm it's probably millions it of it. It's got to be about fifteen grand, isn't it, in Canadian or something stupid? <laughs> I wish. Um, yeah. No. I, my advice is literally just until you get to a point with your computer that you 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 get to a point where Actually, a better computer will play this a lot better, and I'll get a lot more enjoyment out of it. I think you're right, Dave. I think you've. I think you're. you're, you're I think you're, you're talking good. total nonsense. Oh, no, it's think... not the Neil mantra at all, is it? No. The time to change your PC is when your Litman says, "This shit don't run on my PC no more, Dad." <laughs> you, you got my one. And that's when you've got exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's the old. Well, I'll have see... the new one. You have the old one. Yeah. <sighs> That's one of the things no, that his son's PC is probably better. Is it? No, no. Stan and Madeline's PCs are probably on a on a par. 
both the kids have PCs that are on a par with my PC. Um, yeah, that's just not on, is it? <laughs> well, it's fucking scary, right? Because <laughs> it could mean unless I need them to, la- I need the PCs to last a bit longer till they've got jobs. Then I can, you know, then I might dodge the bullet. But if all three suddenly crap out around the same time, I could be in deep trouble here. So there's also that conversation. So what, are you going to just buy, build three PCs? Is that what you're saying? Buy three well, that's new PCs? It. But see, we're, we're coming back, Neil. We're, you, you're almost roping us back oh. into the conversation here because, <laughs> because there's that element of, well, should I invest? Like now putting money into the PC, my PC is an investment for the future because I won't get caught out having to invest it at the same, you know, upgrade it at the same time as my kid. Anyway, it's a fucking nightmare. Right. Absolutely. Or nightmare. that's that's when you break out the Stadia um, gift passes. And say, there you so, go. <laughs> there's a solution to all our problems. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> well, okay. So I really, I really don't have... Okay, uh, yeah, the other thing was I was going to buy something else from this guy this morning. And... Uh, was it a nail gun? Before, before nail, a nail gun. No. <laughs> I have been looking for an air compressor, funnily enough, but I didn't. I what was that to blow the dust out of your PC to make it run quicker? Um, I do do. I have a compressor right now. I do use it to to blow dust, but I haven't found it. I just keep my eyes open constantly for a better air compressor at a good price, but I haven't found one yet. But I put a put. I spoke to this guy this morning. He was selling this drive that I want, um, just a CD read write drive. It was like five bucks, and I was like, perfect, mate, because it looked like it was like brand new or whatever. Bucks. Yeah, nothing. But I need one. I just don't want to go pay 30, 40 bucks for one. There's go- like they, they're 10 a Jesus penny, right? Christ. Nobody fucking uses them anymore. Yeah. yeah. So what, what, Jesus Christ, what? That I won't just go drop 30 or 40 bucks on it because I'm that cheap. I'm just, I'm just imagining there's a man who lives a couple of doors down and every time he sees Fraser coming out of his house, he goes, quick love, get some of that shit out the front. What's he <laughs> going to buy now? this? <laughs> He's going to buy this in a minute. <laughs> No, I won't buy any old shit, but I'm not going to buy any old shit, am I? That's that's not... Apparently, you know. unless, it's, <laughs> unless it makes sound. <laughs> no, but the, the point being... Like, no, no, the point being, like, I'm just, you know, trying to be a little bit frugal, right? Why would I go buy, go spend 30 Why to 40 bucks you sell bucks all of your excess dry? speakers? What? what? You sell all of your excess speakers that you don't actually have wired in. I will sell some of the speakers at some point. So don't worry about that. You know, I've never, so overpaid. I've never overpaid for them. So they are money tied up that I will get back. I'm not going to lose any money on that purchase. You hope, I hope that. no one freezes your assets at some point. They'll be taking you know, this. He's, he's rich. Here. He's just not cash rich. That's <laughs> he's, he's, he's all tied up in speakers. It's all tied up in speakers <laughs> and receivers. So I, actually the guy who I went to go buy the mixer off, right? He goes, yeah, I live at this address. Come and see me. Right. I turn up. He opens, he's got a double garage in his house, right? He opens the garage door and it is literally the whole of this double garage was filled with fucking speakers, rack mount equipment. And you said, music, oh, mixing, oh, no. mixing, mixing. I went, can I just be your best friend? And he, <laughs> and he had, and, and then he's just like, yeah, my wife doesn't really like me collecting all this stuff. I'm like, fucking hell, dude. In my mind, I'm like, you yeah, had my wife say, man. But like the oh, he goes, I can't park. You know, I don't park my car in here. Of course you don't. Like they, they I've no never seen anything room. like it before. I've never seen it. So I have. So I had the goal has been set now. Where to get to? <laughs> I was gonna say yeah. So that's you know that's just uh, Fraser's lifestyle now. It's like I have to have a garage full of speakers. Yeah, completely <laughs> pointless speakers. Anyway, we're off track. We're off track again. We're talking. That's too what much we about do. Me. That's what we do. Oh yeah. Anyway, so like, I was going to buy this thing off this this drive off this guy. I saw him this morning. He's like five bucks. I'm like, oh dude, can I? Is this still available? Yeah, it's available. Okay, I'll come pick it up later today if that's okay. He goes, yeah, that's perfect. Phone him, uh, drop him a text at lunchtime. Hey, I'm going to be around in half an hour. Oh, sorry, mate, I sold it. What? Exactly. <laughs> Rude. Yeah, right. No, it, can... it, you're it, on the shit like, list. Yo, guaranteed mate, it to you. Like, still available? Yes, that's guaranteed. Like, yeah, right. It's not on that, is it? That's pretty rude. Get it do, there quicker, mate. Always do what you say you're going to fucking do. It's embar- I'd be embarrassed to be him. Did, did you uh, not message him back? Just like, not cool, mate. Not cool. 
Yeah, I did totally. I can't even remember what I said, but something very similar. You uh, fucking rude bastard. The gun was. Uh, yeah. I, it was. It was a disapprove. It was sort of like. I'm not going to fucking, I, I, there's no point in attacking him because then he's like, he's another bloke, right? So what's he going to do if I can start attacking, you know, mm. fuck you, you know, fuck you. And now I'm in a fuck you fight. I don't need that. <laughs> but, I, but you send them the old mm, dad disapproving, you know, <laughs> I had one, I had one, somebody backed out on a deal on me once before, like fucking totally rudely backed out on me. And I just, and I was just like, uh, and I knew they were a student. And I was like, well, I hope you do better in the working world with that, you know, or whatever like that. Just fucking <laughs> eating there. Just a little dig. old dig there. Right? Fucking hold that one. Let that one sit in the back uh, of your fucking mind. Hey? I'm, the, I'm, I'm not nugget. angry. I'm just disappointed. Disappointed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't give like a that. fuck, obviously. <laughs> I don't know. I think you'd be surprised. People fuck shit up all the time, right? But I don't know. Whatever. People are people. Yep. People are going to peep. Um, yeah, so that's that story. Dave, what have you got for us? Um, I don't know if you can see if anyone's watching or. Oh, I can see. Yeah, I'll say now. I can see. Something's missing. There's a lack of a TV in my behind. You were. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, There's a lack of a TV in my behind. (laughs) So um, where where there should be a TV in my background, uh, there is not. Um, Because my Sony Bravia that was in my living room completely died the other day. Literally. Well, actually, I, I looked at it and I could possibly fix it, but it's looking at taking the whole tv apart and looking at the the connections between the power and the mother and the main board and it's just yeah. like mm. got a dry solder there mate i reckon yeah the, the the things that i the things that i was looking at and what they said it probably is is like a new yeah either a new board or a new connector between the the actual power supply and the board and looking at the prices a new board would be about 300 quid and right, but you, but, you un- but, you, but, but you undid the four or five screws just to get in and have a, just a quick peek, right? So, so I had a look, like for obvious damage, and I couldn't see it. So, like I took the bits off that I needed to get to the bit, and I couldn't see any obvious damage. So I was like, oh, I'd have to take the whole TV apart, and yeah, oh, no, I'd... Mm. So, so you saved that, that three hundred yeah. quid. Yeah. So and spent thirteen hundred, I suppose. Uh, no, I spent 700 actually. Oh, um, must be nice. So, yeah. um, we'll like tax rebate as well. Oh, this is yeah. tax yeah. rebates this week. There was a deal so, on the uh, the LGs at um, Amazon. And don't tell him that now. Well, no, I'll tell you what, there is some <laughs> massive deals on TVs at the moment. Um, they are getting rid of the 2021, yeah, or they're selling off the, the 2021 stock. So, no one wants that old shit, do they? No, apparently not. Um, I do. He <laughs> does. So I picked up... At a I'll discount, do... though, I tell you. I'll tell you what I picked up. I bought a Samsung QE50 QN90A, and then a series of letters and numbers after that, which is a 50-inch, 120 hertz, 4K, HDR... Dolby, what's he called it? Uh, loads Vision. of other. Look, look, Dolby Vision and HDR plus and ten plus blah blah. blah. Yeah, loads of other bits, but it's a really, really good high-end mid-range or low high-end um, TV that will that does 120 hertz with. HDR uh, and Dolby Vision. So, if I do decide to get a PS5 or the latest version of Xbox, which I cannot remember, um, I can take. Oh, well, you're only a host of a gaming podcast. I, I can't remember. I, is it a Xbox Co-host. S Plus? No, X S Series. Is that Series the top X. one now? Series X. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I said about a year ago, I don't know how these Xboxes are naming themselves, and, and I was confused I, about I'm it. I'm but... intrigued to know what the next ones are going to be called. That's for sure. There's well, not going to be a next one. Just going to be on the cloud. 
yeah, PlayStation, like, it's clearly... Okay, right, next PlayStation is going to be a PlayStation 6, isn't it? That sounds a bit shit, though, isn't it? 6? What? It, one better than 5, which is the well, latest there's gonna one? Be a five pro, there's going to be a 5 Pro first. Yeah, yeah. well... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> 5 million. But, you know, it, it's not going to be the stupid uh, naming conventions that Xboxes are. I mean, so. I, would, I would be holding off buying a... PS5 now because I reckon the new ones are just about to come. What are you grinning at, Neil? I don't know. They are. They're going to drop. Did you not hear? <laughs> yeah. Taku had an article today. <laughs> my, um, I think that's one of my predictions that we'd see new hardware from PlayStation, and uh, Xbox, yeah. and Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. That one. Do you think you get three points for that one? Don't think so. so now. <laughs> so yeah, so I bought a new TV. The old ones in the garage. Uh, I've got to take it to the tip. I bought. I replaced the one that's behind. That was behind me. To the tip. Into yeah. Mate, pop it on the old um. Yeah, broken, you get a bit broken of, TV you... spares. If, mate, I'll tell you what. If your screen's bit. not dead, if that screen isn't damaged, somebody will want it. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. I'll uh. I'll take it to the tip, Dave. I can't be asked. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> Yeah, what I was thinking about is actually putting it down the road, like and leaving the boot open in my car and sort of leaving it outside, and then like waiting for somebody just to nick it. They got no, to get that fucking No, just, no, no, no. I tell there. you why. I tell you oh, why yeah. you don't want to do that. Because <laughs> you end up somebody will just take it and just fucking go. Oh, it doesn't work, and then they throw it out. Whereas, like, if you put it on, yeah, and as as an as broken. As this a, is no, what the problem is. Like, sorry, I'm just trying just, to put. I'm trying to get the frame of mind is like as a an ambassador of the earth, Dave. Right? It's your <laughs> it's in it behooves us, if that's the right word, to try I have and no get idea that what recycled. That word means. Right? So if you put if it you on and it just say, hey, tip, they get recycled. No, let me finish. That's all right. No need to talk <laughs> over me. If we get if you put it up, right, and you just say, Hey, look. I think it's a power board issue, but screen's fine. Somebody could ma- match that up, right? And it could be a working TV, right? And it doesn't go to the if, tip. If you mention that it could be that the altitude that the TV's trying to work at, <laughs> when they get it back down to sea level, it might work all right. Northampton is famously the highest point of the UK, obviously. <laughs> Bring your airboat and collect it out the back of my car. Yeah. Oh, um, that's yeah, filthy, no. Fraser. Yeah. Oh, a bit of pizza. Um, oh, yeah, no, good point. Good point, actually. I, I might as well. Because to be honest, if I get a tenner for it, it saves me going to the tip. So, oh, yeah, here's a, here's a tip. Don't put it for free, though, because you'll get all the fucking time. Oh. oh, that was another thing I had this week. Okay, sorry, I got one more. So <laughs> here, on. you'll see it. See, this This is a submarine for our listeners at home. This is a oh, model submarine, right? I bought this, few, oh. bought this years ago. just right? a fucking dust uh, didn't he? Right, the TV series and... Dust Boots that's just starting. Is this is time mm. with that? Yeah, well, no. So anyway, I bought that many, many years ago. Never completed it. I stuck the hole together. Don't look like you started it, to be honest. It's not like you, <laughs> right? I stuck the hole together, and then I never finished it. I finished quite a few models, but I didn't finish this one. So I thought, rather than go take it, whatever, I put it on for free on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> right, used to free. It. Literally says it's all good, but I stuck the hole together. I just never finished it. Get a guy who's just like, oh, is it still available? I'm like, yeah. So, um, how how much? What have you really done to it? You know, because I like to do this and that, and I airbrush this and that. Like, I'm like, dude, it's fucking free, right? All I've done is stuck the hole together. Come and get it. Oh, okay, all right. Well, um, uh, I'll have to get back to you. I'm like, okay. And then he fucking does get back to me. I'm like, oh, here we go. And he's like, you know, I just got a couple of questions, you know, about you sticking. The- I'm like, dude, it's fucking free. <laughs> Just come and fucking get it, right? For fuck's sake. What is, is wrong got... with these people? It's got a fuel cost. Did you get the sinking up? feeling? Oh, Ooh. my God. Well, <laughs> but the thing is, right, he's got to be local because if you're not local, there's no way you come and get this and don't spend that amount on gas, right? You might as well just fucking order it from somewhere else. Gas prices. How are much so is it new? It, like $15. Hang on, right. he might just be a he might be a conscientious unlike the rest of you fucks over there, he might care about the environment and doesn't want to keep using all the plastic, so he's going around collecting up ones Pitt would have already used. So he can so. burn it in his like 
<laughs> it's boiler. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what flavor takes a Fraser? Dave, it's uh, pepperoni, mushroom, and onion. Ugh, get rid of that mushroom. God. Oh, no, mushroom's good. No, um, not with pepperoni on it, it's not. <laughs> um, the other news I've got to talk about this week is... I'm going to turn my camera off while I eat. Oh, have you not finished yet? Well, don't do that, because it all fucks up. Does it? All fucks yeah. up. Ah, we don't mind. Um, the other thing I was going to talk about is I got awarded my 10 year anniversary at work. Oh. Which what did made you get for me... that? I got 400 quid. TV. Which nice. basically paid for my TV, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but not only did it give me my 400 pounds, um, did you get a nice piece of useless glass? To commemorate no, I got the satisfaction of feeling like a fucking really old person because, like, hitting forty was like, ah, no, it's forty, it's fine. You know, I feel like I did when I was twenty-five, so I, that's that's great. Fucking ten years of work was like, oh mate, when's fucking retirement? Like, I, like, I honestly, it was the, it was worse than. Like hitting it's any age milestone. Um, oh, Fraser's. Mm, what's got my cough one? Okay. Um, yeah, like hitting 10 years of work is the longest I've ever worked for a single company, obviously. Uh, um, that's nothing. That's Mickey Mouse time, 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey Mouse numbers, that one. Um, yeah, it's just like. Yeah, never worked for. I think the work the longest I'd worked for a company before that was like three or four years, and I knew it was coming up to like I thought it was like eight or nine years at the same place, but like ten years is like oh mate, I feel proper old now. Um, you feel old. I yeah. I did twenty two years in the fire service, and I left ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was. It, but like, uh, and a lot of people say it's like thirty or forty or you know, it none of that. I didn't care about any of those numbers. It was ten years of work. Yeah, like I was. I started like a, a year after my daughter was born, and it was, it was it, like I don't know. I don't know why it hit me harder than than yeah, hitting forty. Ten years of work. Well, why don't you get twenty five years, mate? Good luck. <laughs> thirty years you could do. Doesn't get any better. No, uh, no, I'm not. No, no, I'm I'm retiring as soon as I can. But um, what you mean, yeah. never? <laughs> Let me keep spending money on tellies You fucking want? Yeah, right. That's all right. I've I've invested all my money in crypto, so that's fine. Oh, it's yeah, fine. Then. That, yeah, I bet that's doing well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. If that's uh, is that are we good then? Is that everyone covered? Yeah, I think we're all okay. done. Except your camera's still off. Oh, sorry. Come on, okay. let's see a fist. All right, go. let's move on to what yeah. we've been playing then. Uh, Neil, you can start us off. Righty ho. Okay, well, I have still been playing Halo Infinite. I finished the mini season pass thing that they had, the event pass, whatever it's called, level 10. So I've got all my armor bits and pieces. I ain't applied any of those bits to my Spartan because he looks shitter than what I've already got <laughs> but that is done um, I've played a bit more of the Vampire the Masquerade game that I was playing I know that Dave and uh, Fraser was playing it at the weekend yeah are we going to talk about this now we can do it now might as well yeah I enjoyed it Don't I enjoyed it since, I enjoyed it. So anybody, oh, cabins sort of... on fire, mate. <laughs> we were we were shit. Um, yeah, so was I. I think I got fourth. Uh, was the best I got. Yeah. So I'm anybody so who doesn't know, Vampire the Masquerade is basically, I'd say it's a it's a battle royale game, right? But it's a it, it's more like you jump around like fort Fortnite. Um, the gun yeah, fades a lot humans. faster, right? It's, it's not Vampire really... Royale. Yeah. Yeah, no building, um, but there is like it's more Apex gotta... Legends than Fortnite, I guess. Apex, yeah, more Apex Legendsy. 
you're quite yeah, agile so... like you are in apex legends and stuff like that so yeah and there's there's like additional things you can do like i don't know draining the blood of different types of people and and getting different weapon drops and stuff um there's one map at the moment and you kind of instead of dropping from somewhere you choose where you deploy um and you can kind of see where other people deploy depending like on the first bit where you're deploying and to see where they are um but yeah there's a there's a amount of verticality to the game that i'm definitely not used to um in that yeah not only you've got to look for people front back left and right but also up and underneath Mm. you (laughs) um because of because the the map is designed that it's you know on top of buildings running through a lot of time on rooftops don't you really well i think um yeah, whether you should like be or you're not. Probably at a disadvantage if you're on the ground. Yeah. yeah, the problem is you have to be on the ground to, to do well, the logo. Yeah. Well, and to get the victims right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you've got to go down to the ground sometime. I don't. I enjoyed it. I thought what I played. I enjoy, actually. I say I enjoyed it. Actually, but I did start to get frustrated a bit later on. Like I would have one game. It was hard. It was hard, mm-hmm. and. There were games like when we were playing it, Dave, was the first time we I'd played it. Yeah. Like we were getting our fucking asses handed to us, mm-hmm. right? Like we couldn't win any firefights. So it was one of those things. The more we played it, then we were suddenly alive for a little bit longer. We were in a fight that lasted a bit longer. Yeah. Next game, we've killed somebody. So each time we we're getting these little crumbs uh, of, of progression, which was and pretty then we were good. Like, like, then we were like res- resurrecting each other and... You know, and did you manage to get into duos? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, it was, it was, a, but it was it hard. Was, it was hard. It was a learning experience, and and I haven't, I, I played, I think I played one or two more games after that. Yeah, see, I played quite a few games after that with Mark, right? And uh, it was the same, right? Actually, I found, I think it was, it was going between, you know, I, we would have a good game, then we would get the shit kicked out of us, then we'd have a good game, and then we would have the shit kicked out. And like the good games, I'm not me, we didn't do very well in the, in the good games by any stretch of the imagination. Mm. So I came away from it thinking, this is good, but the only way this gets better is if I put time into it. Right. I, I can't just play it and, you know, I've got to play it to for it. I've got to play it X amount for it to be good, which yeah. is the same thing But as PUBG. It's the same thing with Valorant. It'd be the same thing with Warzone, with Halo. The yeah. fucking shooters. And if you don't put the time in, you get frustrated that you're not good enough. Yeah. Right? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, or I, I mean, do. Sorry, yeah. that's me. No, no, no. That's, no, no, that's, that's for, for me as well. Um, and it's one of those games that I'd really like to put the extra time in to do it but i'm realistic among myself is that i'm not going to have that time like i've got other games that i want to play and put time into and i have a life and a job and really you know and fucking i have to sleep you can't have much (laughs) and i I don't do a podcast um (laughs) no no no. Uh, So, so that's it so i suppose the takeaway is it's a good game it's a good game. It, I, I good was game. actually very like, surprised, uh, actually, just how good it is. Yeah. Is like, it, if... it going to last because there's a lot of competition in that field? Is it different enough or is it too different to, like, carve its own, like, space? It's a good question. So it's free, which is yeah. a, a, a massive boost to start right. with. Has to um, be though. Like they could. Well, they're all free now, aren't they? All of these games are free now. It's typical free. We've got a battle pass, right? It's, it's free. It's got. A, it's got a battle pass. It. I think it just needs a little bit of traction. It's. Uh, well, the, it sounds all of the like. Well, I say all of them. It sounds like people like Shroud playing. If you don't know who Shroud is, right. I don't, you obviously aren't on Twitch. Uh, mm. But he's like former CS:GO pro. There's loads of people like him playing. Or have been, I guess, paid to play to like promote oh. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's definitely it's been up there on the Twitch numbers and stuff like that. It's, well, that's good. It's on PS5. It's on PC. I don't think it's on Xbox. Um, it's really, well, like I said before, it's really well made. I just one of these games like 
how much room is there for this one? It is different from all the others. But I yeah. think there's a little bit of a vampire vibe going on right now, which could work it in is. its favor. Yeah. yeah. I think so, vampires are the flavor of the month. Seems so, doesn't it? So, yeah, I haven't played it for a few days, but I did play it and I was enjoying it. It's, I don't know, because you learn it, you're in the learning phase, I don't find myself getting too frustrated. Whereas, ones you've played for a lot, if you do shit, it's like, it's quite annoying because it should be better. So. There is quite a bit of learning there to do, mm. I think, as well. It's not, it's not as simple as shoot the man. Um, shoot the man how much armor and health have they got yeah. right you know and how much i didn't even know there was armor until i watched you st streaming it on sunday and i played it yeah like about three or four times before <laughs> well like that there, that is that there's the armor but there's also like abilities right so some of the mm -hmm. um characters have healing abilities i think if you suck the blood out of certain types of people you can get like mm. a, like health ticks and all that yeah. sort of stuff so yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Anyway, I recommend anyone to check it out if you can if you've got a PC and can run it. Yeah. Or a PS5. Oh, okay. Look at him with the old PS5 knowledge. <laughs> Told you last week it was on PlayStation 5. No, I don't listen to you. <laughs> Why is it not on Xbox then? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it will be at some point. Uh Oh, okay. A new game. Well, several new games have hit Game Pass this week. One of those I've played called Vampire Survivors, which is on the PC version of Game Pass. I don't have a video feed up of this. Um, so I'm doing that in the background now. It is... Uh, how do we describe this game? It's, you may have heard this has been doing the rounds a bit. Um... I've heard it. Uh, I've just put the, totally the wrong fucking thing in the search. Uh, heard it talked about on multiple podcasts recently. It's, it's like two quid on Steam. So it's PC only, I think. Oh, must be nice. Yeah, imagine that. I think they've probably done all right, though. Um, cause it's Let us know been... when it's on sale. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, how do you describe this game? It is... Well, you initially start one of you get one character that you can start with and this character has a basic attack of a whip and it, you don't control when the whip uh uh activates it's not going on a timer all you do is move around so you just basically using your wasd you use that's how you you move around this map um and every so often the whip activates and when what happens is there are initially a load of bats heading towards you. you wherever you are they gradually slowly walk make their way towards you unless you obviously go towards them and you hit them with a whip they die and sometimes they drop a blue gem you pick up the blue gems and then when you've picked up enough blue gems you level up and you get a choice of three things to upgrade. They might be a new ability, or you may be able to upgrade your whip to level two. Um, so if you upgrade your whip to level two, it goes left and right. Does like a whip one, whip one way, whip the other way. And then when you've done the same thing again, you get you to level up again. with the hands again. How does it do with yeah. the whip? <laughs> well, it goes left or right, left or right. Well, that's <laughs> right or left, even. Anyway. Um, so you then up, you level up, and the first few levels you level up quite quickly. And if you pick up, you get up. New abilities like you'll pick up things like there's a cross, and it says it. it I can't remember which which one of these things. Are. There's there's multiple things you can pick from. One of them is a cross, and I think it heads towards the nearest enemy, and then goes so far and then pings back the opposite direction and then it heads further in the opposite direction than it went in the initial direction then there'll be like a thing called king bible and this bible will spin around you in a circle and um, then there's um fireball which deals a shitload of damage 
and it pings off in a direction and causes loads of damage to whichever it's like a random direction that though because you don't know you don't know where it's going to go but it'll ping off in a random direction and cause loads of damage to whatever it hits and then the more you progress the more you level up you can upgrade your health pick up like upgrade armor upgrade a thing called laurel which uh gives you like a shield temporary shield so you're impervious to damage for a brief period of time you keep leveling up you level up quite quickly to begin with and you're killing all this stuff and then basically the whole idea of the game is you've got to survive 30 minutes and it sounds really fucking daft that i'm actually playing this game because it looks like um is it 8 bit i don't know if it's 16 bitty it's uh, like a top top down like yeah, bullet so hell yeah so it's proper yeah bullet hell is a, is a good it's not the thing it's not really nothing shoots at you they just come towards you yeah so you don't have to worry about bullets exactly but it's just enemies um it looks shit uh but it's quite addictive um so as time goes by you unlock a second character you get enough gold pick up gold things drop gold you can unlock a second character and they do a, have a different attack to start with they shoot they've got a magic wand which shoots to the nearest enemy so you're like oh okay i'll go with that one just doing it around and then you find new abilities when you level up there's one called garlic so you, you go down the garlic route and it gives you like a, a circle around you of garlic like force field almost and it will do a certain amount of damage so the basic enemies just instantly die when they hit your garlic shield uh, anything a bit stronger that takes a few hits you'll, you'll have to be a bit more careful with but then you keep upgrading the garlic and you, the garlic area expands and becomes stronger and you can just basically walk around fucking killing everything and then as time goes by you get more, more different enemies they'll be like all sorts of different vampires like a various thing like you start off with bats then you get like i don't know some fucking zombie looking thing and they take a bit more damage to kill but you aren't literally all you do is move around <laughs> it sounds fucking daft but i've heard loads of people talk about it and i'm like oh, it sounds stupid i don't know why people get into this game but i got quite into it for a couple of hours uh um, you said it's on is it on normal it's game on game pass? pass it's on game pass it's on pc is it um, on normal Game Pass? I it's not on Game Xbox, Pass. no. I don't, it's not on Xbox. It's only on PC, <clears> as far as I know. Um, it's literally it's like quite addictive. Like the, It got to a point where I'd leveled up my garlic, I've leveled up all my weapons, I had all sorts of stuff going. There's just fucking stuff going on. And as time goes by, it's literally the whole screen is just filled with enemies just kept rushing towards you. Uh, I got to 29 minutes and 11 seconds, I think it was, and I died. I, like For about 10 minutes before that, I was just literally laying waste to everything that came anywhere near me. I was just like, this is great because I'm so powerful. And I got to the point I couldn't level up anything anymore. I was just picking up gold bags, gold bags, gold bags. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's really daft, but it's really quite addictive <laughs> for a little while. Um, I recommend you give it a go. There's absolutely tons of classes, I think, to unlock um, as you go through the game. I've I've not played it since I got to the 29 minutes, but I know I've got like something like... Where I was, I was struggling to get gold, and I was getting like 100 here and 100 there. I've got fucking like 10,000 or something stupid, because it was just like ridiculous. And you pick up like the ability to... Because when they, like I say, they drop these little gems, that's how you level up. You pick. You can, there's a thing called a track orb or something. So when you level it up, you're just walking around and they're zooming in from like all miles away. And then there's occasionally there'll be a big enemy that you have to kill. So you might have to focus a bit more on like killing that enemy. But like with the garlic shield, I was like fucking invincible, and I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get to thirty minutes because I know what happens at thirty minutes because I've heard people talk about it. Basically, you get to thirty minutes. Spoilers. The boss. The boss comes in and kills you. You literally can't avoid it. Spoilers. Um, sorry, hey everyone, play this game. game. I'm going to spoil it for you. It's not spoiling. It's not spoiling because that's the game. Well, you can only survive it... 30 minutes. 
unless... Oh, it tell you that before you play. Yeah, it tells you that. Like, basically, you got to survive 30 minutes. Unless... Spoilers. You get the, the, occasionally, there's an ability to buy that says you can respawn with 50% health. I never went there, right? So I just want to get to the 30 minutes to start with. Um, but I know then you can obviously survive a bit longer. So the garlic route initially looks like the way to go. And like I say, for 10 minutes, I was like, I am going to fucking do this. And then like with 49 seconds or whatever I needed to survive left, I died. I was like, oh, what a bastard. Mm. Uh, but yeah, like I say, I've heard fucking tons of people talking about this. And they're like, yeah, it sounds, it all sounds stupid. But you just want to like, right. I want to get to that 30 minutes because then I've done it basically. And I thought I was going to do it pretty quickly, but I didn't. Anyway, I will probably go and have another go at doing that. I'll try that. If you haven't got I'll Game try Pass, it. it's two quid on Steam. Cut off, mate. Rich, How long does it take to finish? You could. That's what you could do if you rebate, Fraser. 20 min- 29 minutes. How long does it take to finish? <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know what happens if you start leveling up the respawn ability. I don't know how far that goes. So, because I never did it. Mm. Um, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. But things have happened this week which made me think I need to finish Elden Ring. So I went back to Elden Ring despite my thumb being hurting. I've been trying to get cracking on that. So I know I'm near the end and I'm in the crumbling something area which is a late game. Uh, The enemies are proper hard and there was... Sounds like a start. Yeah, no, it's way harder than a start. Like there's these fucking knights walking around that if you... And what I sussed was basically the way I was dealing with them. Like if you try and dodge them like I was doing, and they hit you, you're fucking dead. Basically, uh, they hit you in two hits and you're dead. Even though I've got quite a nice long health bar now. But there's a, a mechanic in the game called fuck oh, you, fucking hell. It's, no, it's like you hold your shield up as a block rather than a parry. Like you can just hold your shield. When something hits you, you can then press attack and it will do a counter attack. Um, it's not the same as if you do a parry on someone, they literally are staggered and you can just do a proper heavy critical attack. But there's this counter attack from like just a standard block. That seemed to be a really good way to go with these knights uh, that were causing me a few issues uh, beforehand. And then there's a big bad knight that you have to fight. But once he's dead, he's dead. And I've just got to a point where I've gone up a big stairway People who've played this far will know what I'm talking about. You go through a boss gate. I was making a video thinking I might upload it. But I ain't beat the boss in there because he's a fucking bastard. (laughs) Uh, Malachite or something his name is. Proper hard. Like, it's a proper boss because you've got two phases to it. Well, at least two phases. I've only seen the second phase. Um, first phase initially is like every time it hits you, it's like massive hit to your health. Um, so I've tried summoning other humans; they all turned out to be shit and died or left <laughs> quite quickly after. Like I was, I'd take a hit and I'd go and try and heal behind like a big stone pillar, and then oh, so and so's left. I was like, thanks for your help, you fucker, because <laughs> uh, now I can't heal him. Was this actual you calling in normal people? Yeah, actually. actual people, yeah. But yeah, so I gave up on that because they all turned out to be shit. Uh, and then I was relying on my summon that I have, my mimic. who's basically a copy of me, of all of my abilities and all of my uh, throwables or stuff like that that I have equipped. He can do all the same things. Or she, because I'm playing as a female. Um, so... I've hit a bit of a wall at the moment, but it's been a while, so maybe I'm just a bit out of practice. I got it down to about 25% health earlier, but I was just like, oh, I can't do this right now. So I left that, um, and I've set up 
or PS4 randomly. Uh, what do you mean set why. up? What, you, well, like... basically, it's been. Un- I had it in my bedroom for ages. Did all my bedroom up, and it's been unplugged, right, and disconnected. So I plugged it in, turned it on, and fired up Bloodborne because I was a glutton for punishment. And I lo- loaded it up and looked at it, and I went, "I've basically got nowhere in this game in what eight years? I think it's been out." Oh wow. And I'm so still what, in pretty uh, much the why did you not, area. So you bought, when you bought it originally, then it just didn't you didn't like it, or I just couldn't get very far. I didn't really, I don't think, understand these games. This is way before what I started proper on the Dark Souls, and it does look a bit shitter on the plate. PS4 is not modern anymore. It's like eight years old or whatever. This is quite. This came out pretty soon after the PS4 came out. I think it's not been updated. Well, I don't know if it's. I've got a PS4 Pro mode, but it runs at like an iffy thirty frames per second, probably uh, on my PS4 because I've got a original PS4. Um, it's. I'm finding it a bit more enjoyable now at this time since playing loads of Elden Ring and Dark Souls in the in the meantime. But I am actually finding the combat to be a bit more rewarding than I probably did when I first played it. I would love there to be a new version of this on a PC running at 60 frames. Then I could probably get into it. Um, but I might actually plug away at it a bit more. But the main focus I've got to do is I've got to finish Elden Ring. Um, so there is a reason I set up the PS4 because I needed to set up the PS4 to transfer all of the data from my PS4 to my PS5 that I purchased Ooh. last weekend. Because uh, so, during so the... what did what did you do to get your PlayStation Five? I just like... paid someone some money and they delivered it several days later. <laughs> Not like a scalper or a, oh, no, like, no. actually one in stock somewhere. Oh, I bought it from game. It seems like this week has been a good week to buy a PS5. There's been loads of days. It's like, oh, there's one here. There's some here. There's some there. Uh, the scan deal is back on today where they were selling it with Horizon, an extra controller and an SSD drive with a heatsink for 740 quid. Um, why would you want? Why would you, why would you want a hint a heat sink with a for the SSD? For the SSD, the extra SSD to keep it cool because they get hot when they're chunking seven gigabytes per second or whatever. Uh, which is why they need what they need speed they need to be to be compatible with the PS Five. Is that what you've uh, got? I didn't get the SSD one. I just bought the PS Five. Oh, you could save yourself a bit of money there. On you could probably lecky. afford one with your rebate. Well, I'm not, not my more concerned. You should be less concerned about my rebate. I'm more concerned about your electricity consumption. Right. Well, because I did post how many watts does article. that PlayStation Five? It's definitely better than a PC. That's not what I asked you. <laughs> but it's less than my PC when my PC is running games. Right. Um, so. Uh, it's a very impressive piece of kit, I have to say. Um, I've not played many games on it because I've only had it since Monday. Um, and I have actually worked this week, so I haven't had loads of time. And like I said, I got to a point where I was like, I just need to fucking finish a few games that I've been playing so that I can crack on um, with some stuff on the PS5. I did play through Astro's Playroom, which is the thing that bundles with the PS5 that is a bit of a a love letter to PlayStation uh it's pretty cool if you've been if you've been there since day 1 on the PS1 there's lots of memories that it will evoke uh, and the whole point is to like demonstrate all of the abilities of the PS5 and the PS5 controller with the dual sense I, I don't know you may have heard people talk about this because it is available with every PS5 that comes but obviously the triggers are 
mm, what do they call it? I don't know. There is a name for Tick. it. But they're, well, they're more than haptic. It's more like they have a variable strength to the. They can basically make the triggers harder to pull. Um, or less hard to pull. Like when you, I've played it on, I've had a dual sense on my PC and it just plays like any old controller. Feels very nice. It's very well made, it seems. Um, but essentially, it's just a controller. But when you're playing things like that have programmed the triggers or it's got a speaker in it, obviously, as well, like they've had since DualShock 4. Um, and it's got a microphone built in, so you have to you can pick it up and blow into it and all that stupid stuff like you can with your DS. <laughs> um, but the triggers are very cool, I have to say, and the 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 vibration in it is very good. Like it, I, I it vibrate. I can definitely feel it vibrating when I'm playing on my PC. Like, it, and it does feel kind of a bit more nuanced. Um, you feel it versus, moving when you play with it. Well, like the Astros Playroom demonstrates the sort of all that stuff really, really well. How much it can change, like how it feels in your hand. Um, as like I say, the triggers are one thing, but the way it vibrates and stuff in your hand with what's going on the screen and it makes stupid noises and stuff like that. But now when like it's so, in your hand, you can actually feel it getting harder. <laughs> well, I haven't felt that for a long time. <laughs> you fucking but... liar. Can I ask a question? Go on. <laughs> Did you get... Shut up, Fraser. Did you get all the... <laughs> the um, the, the, the anniversary pack or classic pack or something with all the older games in? All the PS4 Your games? PS Plus. I played... Basically, what I did is I bought... a. <clears throat> A year's PS Plus is what I've bought. The only thing I've bought extra, um, which but gives you the PS uh, Plus collection, mm-hmm. which gives oh, right, you okay. access you have to, to right. Bloodborne, Uncharted collection, fucking Horizon Zero Dawn. It's fucking about 10 games, at least. Uh, right, so you have to subscribe but to they're that. all it's the PS4 games. Payment. No. You you basically you pay for a peer, uh, well you you can pay for a month's PS Plus because you're like six pound or whatever seven pound. But then you lose all month. the games. But Same then it's going past. It's yeah, but the okay. the PS Plus collection are PS4 games still. They're not right PS5 versions of PS4 games. I think they may be like if there was a PS4 Pro version, you're probably getting that. Okay. Um, and you, I take it you got the disc version. Yes, I did. So everyone seems to today. have them at the moment. Yeah, that's what I mean. There, there, there's a bit. Yeah, Argos have of got. Yeah, yeah, Argos have got both versions. They've got a yeah. discless version with a controller and for um, Horizon Forbidden West for four hundred and ten pounds. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Thing mm. is, digital prices are high on Playstations. If you're used to paying. Ten pounds, eleven pounds a month for Game Pass and getting everything. Mm. You might find it a bit pricey to go and buy a game for seventy quid. Oh, I'll get a PS Plus thingy. Yeah. It's called. PS Now that doesn't start yeah. until June, late June. Oh, it's got another month. Oh, I've got to wait, to wait a whole PS three Plus. weeks. Bloody hell! It's about a month until PS Plus. PS Now, PS Plus Premium launches over mm. here. I'm not too f- like the PS Plus tiers. They have announced. I am thinking I'm gonna probably subscribe to that to get for at least one month because PS5 games are hitting that when it launches, and they'll be like Demon Souls, Returnal, Ratchet and Clank. No, I don't know if it's Ratchet and Clank. Uh, Can't think of. There might be something else. I think on PS5 versions of something. Um, coming to that what was what is currently PS now which has no PS5 games at the moment but they will be in mm-hmm. a month um, so I'm looking at it I only bought my PS4 for Horizon Zero Dawn mm. I then played the exclusive that I hadn't played but 90% of the time it just sat gathering dust how much of them games are you going to actually play do you think 
when I get around to them, I will play them. I've got to fucking get rid of these games that I'm currently playing. I've finished them off. You've played so them all Uncharted and shit like that on your PS4, though, surely? I played... Oh, I didn't play the first Uncharted, to be fair. And Gears of War and all them. You must have played Gears all of, them. I ain't playing Gears of War on the PlayStation. Oh, sorry. God of War. Sorry. I played God of War on the PS, um, on the PC because it was better mm. than playing it on PS4. Oh, yeah, of course. But PS5 is, is comparable to playing it on my PC. I would say. Like, mm-hmm. The Astro's Playroom is not like the best game ever, but it looks pretty fucking good. Feels nice to play. It's clearly running at a nice frame rate and stuff like all of those benefits that I've had from playing on PC for however long. The higher frame rates, the better details. Um, they're all there. Like, yeah, as you know, from the Series X, it's a big step. Yeah, well, that's the new next generation. Right? <clears throat> yeah, it's a big step. Yeah. From the old Xbox Ones. Um, yeah. And uh, my daughter like, has chugs now. It's yeah, just, it feels like awful. it won't get old quick. Whereas the Xbox One and PS4 probably did get old a bit quick. Um, the original versions of them, at least. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, when it, what else you played on it, then? Not a Is lot. Are you gonna, when I are finished, you going to play Returnal then? Because that's, like, like that's like a month. That's like a month before right, that. So you've got like, to wait I was that not paying this. seventy quid to play Returnal. Is that how much it is? Yes. All PS Five games seventy quid. Yeah. Pretty Didn't much. Retur- wasn't Returnal? Right, all the... I thought Returnal was a free game. Yeah, but I didn't get it because I didn't have PS Plus. If yeah, it was okay, free, so it I didn't was. have it. Yeah, yeah. So the first game I've managed to pick up on PS Plus today, this week, is FIFA 22. Brilliant. Uh, which was pleased my son no end because he's been playing on it more than I have. Um, <laughs> I have also picked up Tribes of Midgard, which I was interested in playing on PC. It looked quite interesting, so but I haven't tra- tried that out yet. And I can't think what the other game was. There was another game, but I think it's a P- they're basically a PS4 game, the other one. Um, I can't remember what it is. Anyway, so I'm back in the PlayStation ecosystem for the first time in quite a while. Like I said, it's made me pick up a load of old PS4 stuff because they have, like you can basically transfer all of your users from your PS4 to your PS5 by turning it on and stuff like that. But when I went to do that, it's like, your PS4 needs an update. I was like, yeah, fucking of course it does. <laughs> so I had to go through all that rigmarole. And I was like, once I would have got that all set up, I was like, oh, actually, I might just set it up in the other room. Um like my PS4 is actually in my main lounge living area where my wife watches TV most of the time, mm. and the PS5 is in the back room. So it's not on the best telly, but it does look pretty fucking nice. So I was gonna say, do uh, you like when you put play start playing games? Is it like every game prompt you to say do you want the best graphics or best best performance? I haven't, I haven't had to funny about with any of that. I, right. When you set up the console, I'm attached to a 4K TV. It's got HDR. You set up the brightness, does all that bollocks when you set up the console. Um, but then I haven't had to fanny about with anything since because oh. that's just a PS5 game, and it's mm. I think it doesn't it doesn't have a performance versus quality mode or any of that shit. All right. Uh, the the Series X just has in in the options list you can. Toggle it on or off, depending on whether you download it or. So it's not yeah. per yeah, game. Every... Like if I download, no, yeah, in, that will in, be in the option. options in the game. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. I you could to download the Warzone yeah, and fill it. my entire hard drive with that if yeah, I wanted can. to. But I ain't doing that. Um, yeah, most games, especially the racing games, ask you if you want variable. Yeah. There's not many games at 120 hertz yet. Oh, okay. Um, 120 frames, but there's a few, but not. Dirt many. Five was 120, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and that looks, like... it does make a difference. Yeah. I didn't no, think it's I'd just be more about the feel than like you can't really see the yeah. extra frames, but you can feel it. Definitely yeah, it just run, it just runs smoother. Yeah. Um, I to be fair, I put most of mine on um, graphics rather than performance. <laughs> There's not many games that I I look at it and think, oh, actually, it look, it's, it runs pretty fucking solid. Yeah, because graphics so... mode is is mostly like at least sixty frames now, rather than thirty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's yeah, so games, and most people, it. most people have only got sixty mm. FPS telly anyway. So yeah. that's why my, my TV why only runs put it, at sixty. Right. Yeah, but Dave's got a fancy 
Well, I've got a fancy TV. Well, I will do. But I haven't, I haven't plugged it into that telly. Um, <laughs> so you need to swap the TV from the living no, room. Uh, no, what I need to do is buy a bigger TV for the living room and uh, move that TV. <laughs> that was d- that was my ploy. <laughs> we got a 50, 50, we got a 55 in the lounge and a 60 in the kitchen. So <laughs> I thought, all right, I'll get a bigger telly for the kitchen that I've got my, play, got my Xbox on. And then, after we sat in the kitchen, what, looking six foot away from a 60-inch telly, it's and we go huge. up into the lounge, and we're 30 foot away from a bloody 50-inch, <laughs> I was waiting for her to go, this telly's a bit small, but she hasn't said it yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But with you, and that one's four years old, the Sony in there, lounge oh, four years ancient, old. Ancient, ancient. Well, mate, the difference is... Yeah, that's well, I mean, my, the best telly. My TV four years ago. I've, my yeah, TV that I've got my PS5 in is a is a 2016 4K TV. So yeah, my Sony, yeah, that's the 2016, yeah, 2016, 17, and my this one year, the Samsung is only 18 months old, and the difference yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah, my LG is 2019, but yeah, it's fucking insane how much better it yeah. looks than the old Samsung from three years before. Yeah. Um, it's not only that, it's the responsiveness as well. It's yeah. like, uh, well, yeah. I don't notice that, to be fair. Like, it's got a game no. mode on, on my Samsung TV. From They've had game modes for fucking donkeys, mm-hmm. years, to be honest. Um, but but the operating system on the, or the Android on the fucking Sony, yeah. is, you turn it on and it takes five minutes before it yeah. fucking does anything. Yeah, yeah that's a, that was the that same of my party. Shitty CPU on the on the team. Yeah, fucking terrible. But anyway. uh, so one thing right. I did play on my PS5 before I move on is a PS4 game called Horizon Zero Dawn because I thought I better fucking finish <laughs> that before I play the new one. Uh, I played that not... on the PS5 though. I've played it on the PS5 and it looks a bit fucking weird. I got to be honest. I don't know if that's just me. Uh, I'm not quite you sure what frame I... rate it's running at or whether it's a it's not a PS5 version of the game. I don't know if it's like, it looks a bit odd. So, but it's running not right. Toggle, yeah. Have a look at Toggle in the HDR because mm. they didn't have HDR 10 then or 10 plus mm. or whatever the fuck it is now. So it might be worth going into the HDR settings and just to- just knocking it Turning off. Turning it off. Yeah, see, mm. when, I, when I plugged in my PS4 and I was going for it, like doing all that hoo-ha, I went into the settings for that, and it was like, oh, there's settings for HDR on my PS4. I, was like, I didn't realise my PS4 had HDR. Uh, so I went in and turned it all on, set it all up, and I booted up Spider-Man as well. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> booted up Spider-Man on my old PS4, and it was like, it went, you could see the TV basically switch to a new mode. It was like HDR. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. my PS4 does HDR, does it? I didn't realise that. And it definitely looked quite bright and nice. But I didn't really play it for him. No. Uh, I did get a trophy yeah. while I was playing Spider Man. <laughs> 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 I haven't played it for fucking about eight, six years or whatever. Uh, yeah. Was it, so, was it like a uh, swing 100 miles and you were oh, like. I can't remember. It, it was uh, something like, like Swing 50. King or something. Yeah, it was right, like. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's still pretty. That was like, oh, yeah, this feels pretty fucking good, doesn't it? I was like, oh, maybe one of the. I don't know if that Spider Man game's coming to PlayStation now. But uh, maybe that's one of the Miles Morales one. Maybe that's coming to PS Now. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, PS Now, although it's not going to have day one brand new releases on, I've, it's been out, what, 18 months of PS5 now that I haven't played any of the PS5 stuff. So mm. one time, like in a month's time, when PS Now, PS Plus Premium, whatever it's called, comes out, I'll probably do a couple of months on that to play some of those games that I ain't played and then switch back to PS Plus. Um, to pick up those freebies. Well, like their PS oh. Plus offers are still pretty decent. Like FIFA, I know it's kind of it's probably going to hit Game Pass through EA Play soon. Anyway, it's already on. I think. Uh, I think it was well, come on last week. Has it? Has pretty it? sure. NHL. Yeah, I definitely remember seeing it. I didn't I'm see FIFA sure come on. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. It is NHL. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I think FIFA's due around now for for EA Play, so I assume that will hit Game Pass pretty soon. Um. But yeah, a very impressive piece of kit. I've still got 
and like I say, I want to try and bang through, finish off Elden Ring because I've been fucking plugging away at that for ages. Uh, get that finished and then start playing a few of these PS games that I ain't been playing for fuck knows how long. So, but yeah, I don't know whether to finish Horizon Zero Dawn. Or Maybe just we should do a pile of shame challenge. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Well, that'll take. Yeah, that's that's a novel idea. Yeah? About ten yeah. years to fucking clear off my backlog. I, I, I but uh, uh, when we did the pile of shame before, did you do it? Anybody else do it? Pilch, did I you did do think it? about doing it. I did, yeah. I, I still, I, I, I rate that as one of the one of the best gaming years I can remember. I got to play so many things that I put thrown away on a disused pile. That ended imagine up how much a... more you'd got to play now, though, with all the freebies you've picked up and stuff like that over the years. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like, I don't think it was much different then. There were loads. Of, it wasn't the fact. It was. It was more like things that you just hadn't gone. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right, Neil. Actually, there's a lot more. I don't know. It was a pretty cool thing to do. Anyway, imagine mm. trying to get through the whole of Game Pass. <laughs> I can't. I can't even tr- just try the games in Game Pass, let alone yeah. finish them. Pilch, oh. Pilch tries. I looked. I'm, I'm giving up now. I looked at the last ten or twelve games that come on there. And then I looked at the time that I've played them and it didn't even total an hour for the whole lot. <laughs> I'm looking at Game Pass more and more. And I'm going, mm, I don't know if I would renew the, again. The trouble is, you if you've got Xbox, you have to have it because it's it's a part of gold now. Thing if is, you've got gold. I don't pay for it, so it doesn't bother me. And we know you don't pay for it because you do because you spend most of your life. Yeah, you could easily bang it out stuff. if you're playing the games for like fucking ten. Oh, minutes, I'd that's love all to bang it out. The time. <laughs> Horizon right. Zero Dawn was the first and only game I've ever platinumed. Oh, I won't be platinuming it. I can tell you that. Yeah. I, I was seriously after playing it there. I was a bit like, oh, I don't know if you just play this on the PS4, see what it looks like versus what I'm playing on the PS5. It just looks a bit. Weird. Oh, do you um, get both versions? There is no PS5 you buy version the PS... of Zero Dawn. No, of the new one. Uh, well, it's a PS5 disc. If you log into PS4, will you get a... No, I got a oh, disc, right, okay. so I don't think okay. so. Um, oh, before I forget then, Fraser, I've been told, if, you put a, if you've got a disc version of a game on Xbox, if you sign into your Series X, um, you can download the game... Have you got the you've got the digital only version, have you? Uh, of he's got uh, a series yeah. S, well, I've got yeah. the Series S digital series only. S. But right, we didn't, you can but... you can download the games that you've got that you've got on a disc and still play them. Yeah. Oh no, I haven't got digital only. Sorry, I think I'm. Oh yeah, no, because right, there's no disc drive. Yeah. 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 Series yeah. S. Uh, right. it, uh, yeah. Okay. I think that's, that could be true for some. It's not true for everything, though. Like. Okay. Um, Although, how do they? Pr- how do you prove it? It was going for a track. Uh, apparently, it just works because it says that you've owned the game. Mm, I don't know because Stan wanted to play Grand Theft Auto GTA Five off the Xbox One, but mm. it just was like, nope. And there's no way. Well, I don't know Rockstar. what way there is. They've, they've there's no... literally released that game about 15 times. There's no way right, they're going to really do... play that. There's before. currently oh, two the... versions on the fucking store of the same the... game. But the only way to prove to the to them that you own it is to put the disc. Is to in. have the disc, yeah. Mm. So if you I've heard they're going to bring out an external disc drive for the Series S. Nah, it never happened. Well, no. Apparently, if it thinks that you own the game and you can install it and play it. Well, mm. yeah, I'm... I'm not sure about that. Mm. I heard it on a podcast yesterday. Ooh. Mm. 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 <laughs> okay, Bill. <laughs> do you want to? Uh, do you want to go next? I'll go next. This is not going to take long. I've been playing Slay the Spire. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I've finished Slay the. No, I haven't finished it. I've. Okay. I've won. A. A character on Slay the Spire. I've I've beat the final boss. Um, it took me eighty hours. Wow. The only I've got to the final boss on all three characters, um, uh, multiple times. Um, but I just kept getting fucking smashed. 
Uh, but I picked up through one of my runs, the, the run that I won on, I picked up a, um, a thing that gave me a thousand gold. So when you go into the store, you can buy some. You can buy a card. The the sometimes you, the most you generally rack up if you keep spending is probably like hundred hundred and fifty gold yeah. each when it, to the next store. So right. sometimes you can buy a half decent card. You might be able to afford a relic, um, or there's that's nothing worth having. It costs you a hundred or costs you seventy five, then a hundred, then a hundred and fifty gold to burn a card. So that money soon fucking goes pretty quick. But I got a thousand gold in one of the little rooms and I thought, oh, hang on a minute. I bought about 20 relics and that's how I finished the game. Because in the end, I had so many relics, they actually went across the screen and I had a little arrow that you had to click on. <laughs> to carry on seeing the rest of the relics. And I just had so many buffs and stuff. It was, and I just fucking went for it and beat it. I wouldn't, yeah. I don't think I ever would have done it. I know Dave's done finished it now a couple of times. I don't think I would have done it without all them relics. And I just smashed it. I didn't, I don't even think I took any damage for the last like six or seven levels. Nice. And I got to the boss and just absolutely smashed him. Mm. Um, but I then thought, oh, I know, I'll do it with the other characters. I literally started a new game, and after five minutes, I thought, I can't, can't see the point in doing this now. <laughs> so I uninstalled it. I won't be playing it again. But 80 hours of sheer enjoyment, I thought I'd I never think, have. Yeah, I think it's one of the – I did the same thing. Like, I went through, and, and finally I got the poison build that I wanted, which enabled me to go through and beat the last guy. And I think I did it – two or three times because every time you, you beat the final guy and then you face off that heart or something right mm -hmm. yes yeah, yeah yeah and every time it killed me yeah i don't know what's up with that so i guess you just keep at it um mm -hmm. but i was sort of like yeah i mean like i don't know if i really want to do the run with the other characters but i really enjoyed getting finally to to yeah. exactly the same as you pilch right i really yeah. enjoyed getting to that end bit with something that just smashed your way through um, mm. although but, i yeah, don't although is, i was thinking about game. it i would like to know the builds right it's like i think mm -hmm. dave talked last week about it and said he had the build where he was what was your build last mm. week dave you talked about um i was talking about a oh, the shivs you was doing the shiv, right? yeah yeah the shiv yeah. build on the, the shiv character. build see i would yeah. like to know that build so that i could try it right it'd be quite fun yeah. to try it um but uh yeah did you look that up dave mm. Or did you just suss that out? I bet it's just the cards. It's the cards. The cards are obvious. Like per character, there's the, most mm -hmm. characters have two different ones. Like obviously, there's the poison one uh, on the second character. Yeah. The the defense or there's a like, the uh, yeah yeah uh, and the, yeah. There's that was a, the one I the, used. The defect. Like, yeah, on the defects, like there's there's all there's pretty obvious ones. Um, that you pick up and yeah it was the the actual poison one i used the shivs on i didn't use the poison build i used the shiv build on that one where you just generate more cards that gives you more shivs that gives you free mm -hmm. attacks that you can just keep generating and uh and using zero attack cards yeah um, that's it. uh yeah um um, I don't no, think you can plan the top. I said before, though, a lot of it is random. You don't know what cards yeah. you're getting. Yeah, no, so exactly. You can't plan a build, but you no. can certainly go down a route of spec okay, in the I'm direction. Of, yeah, yeah, if I get one of these, I'm only going to select yeah. those type of ones. Sometimes yeah. you might not buy any cards at all because you haven't got any of that type of build for a little while. Yeah. But eventually, you rack up enough to concentrate on one one style of play yeah but it's yeah. it's so random like i said it's, you just don't know what you're going to get you get a relic and it gives you a freaking curse or it says you can only play six cards in one go turn or things like that once you get a relic like that you're bollocks because you can't plan you can't plan anything um yeah. but yeah it's so good yep that um one. 
Yeah. That's good. So I've found a new game now. New game? You might have heard of it. Yeah. It's called Warzone. (laughs) Tell us about this. I'm back on. Well. Back on the Warzone, are you? Oh, mate. I'm back on it. I'm big time now. I've been playing. That's funny, though. Last four or five days, and that's oh, just fucking right. Another little game, another game, another game. There's a new, it's, there's a new thing on it. I think it's only here for a week, or might. Have, I don't know how long it's already been on, but it's only. Yeah, a by week the time left. I've downloaded it, it'll be finished then. <laughs> oh, my download was 170 gig update for this fucking thing. That's just the update. But it did rein. That was just the update. Rein, yeah. yeah, it did <laughs> reinstall the whole of the campaign again, which I keep fucking having to re-uninstall. don't know why. Anyway. I could play that on the um, PS5, couldn't I? Yes, you can. Yeah. It's cross-play. Mm-hmm. Um, they Pro have tip. got... Spoiler, he a... <laughs> They have got a, um, a game mode at the moment that involves... Uh, Kong and Godzilla. Um, basically, you're on a bit of a tropically island. I'd say it's Vietnam, but I don't think it is. It must be somewhere That's like China like an or island, somewhere. Technically, no, but you know what I mean. Um, and uh, on one side of the map is King Kong, and on another side of the map is Godzilla, and they are fucking massive. As, as you would expect them to be. Bigger than and a giant chicken in PUBG. I didn't see a giant <laughs> chicken in PUBG, but they are absolutely huge. Um, and they basically just move around the map, stomping on anything in sight. Godzilla has this massive flame thing that he shoots across half of the map. Um, and King, King Kong chucks rocks and things about, and it will warn you where roughly where these attacks are going to be. So if you're in that like big, huge, great big circle, you've got to get out quick, otherwise you get absolutely mullered. But while you're doing that, you're also still playing for play or quads resurgence. So um, you can shoot at the at Godzilla and and um, Kong, and they will give you the more your team racks up damage to it, it gives you other perks. To attack the rest of the the rest of the players, um, you can control. If you get enough perks, you can control the actual direction that Godzilla. It's like basically putting a like a cluster strike down or something. But you can use him to direct his attacks where other enemies are. Um, it's pretty bloody good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how long it's going to last, but. Just, I don't mind if they start doing stuff like that because they've got to do something to Keep just change in a yeah. yeah. Mm. It was um, the same thing I with the chicken. Played, mm, the chicken in PUBG chicken. was like something different. I I embraced it. They did ultimately. It really wasn't a very good game, but it was quite interesting. That's just and I don't know whether. Well, and I just wondered whether it was the same thing. I just gonna ignore him. Just gonna, just uh, whether it was the same thing with you, Pilch, in that. One of the problems was you would shoot the chicken in mm-hmm. PUBG, but you then you started to not pay attention to your surroundings, and before you know it, you're getting ganked. By yeah, the yeah, players, yeah, right? because so. everyone knows that it's being attacked. Um, so it sort of just... really changes the whole dynamic of the game. Oh god, really... yeah, because yeah, do you uh, the couple of games we the, the squad just didn't attack the the monsters at all, and we just went hunting for. The people that were attacking them, we were just hanging out and hiding and waiting for them to come, and we just fucking wiped them out. So it just adds another complete element to the game. The more you attack, the the more you attack them, the more you get perks to kill. The and you you can you just got like a tier as well. You like start off and it will give you a um, gas mask so that when the when the gas comes, you've got a gas mask and then it gives you something. It gives you a, um, uh armor buff and then an ammo buff. So you can build up the more damage you do to this thing, the better the better equipped you are to fight the other people. But obviously you're not paying attention. Some fucker comes running around the corner and uh, 
James, you in yeah. the back while you're yeah while you're concentrating. So, but it was good. Yeah, um, I played. I went back to my normal resurgence. They've still got the um, uh, the rebirth Ireland. They haven't changed that at all. Um, it's changed slightly because they've changed eras, but that map's exactly the same as it always was. But there's quite a lot in there. The only thing I think we said before, if you haven't got the current game that they're on, which is Vanguard, all the stuff that you're unlocking, you can't use. Mm. Um, you don't, you don't, can't use any of the the skins. You can't use any of the the guns. Well, or they haven't attachment. quite committed to the full, whole free to play aspect of the game that was no, the hugest game. No, if you want, yeah, if you want to progress and build your shit, you've got to have Vanguard now. Yeah, All the duck, yeah. everything. So they're still making you sort of. Oh yeah, but don't forget you need to spend sixty quid on this game if you want uh, fuck off. all this shit. It's yeah. a sixty quid game that you don't actually want. Football. No, um, but I'm still running around with the same um, M4. M4 that I was using. <laughs> yeah, that I was using in in uh, Modern Warfare. So it didn't bother me. But it's exactly the same loadout as I've had for the last three years. <laughs> I ain't mm. never changed it because it works for me. So obviously. The whole point you pick up loads of old shit. You think you'll get some of the guns? Years. It's supposed to be Modern Warfare 2 remastered, isn't it? This year, is it this year or is it next or Modern year? Modern Warfare 2 remake, I think. This year, mm. Mm. I do prefer the Modern Warfares out of all of them anyway, so I probably will get that one. But yeah, there, is there any reason to though? You can play yeah. fucking you can play Warzone as, to your heart's content. Mm. Mm. So campaign, that is what I've played. The six That's all I've played. Was, yeah, that kind of campaign was good. Yeah, but it's changed. It's really going to be different, isn't it? Because like the first, last know, one I... was different. Modern what Warfare, it, whatever, twenty nineteen. But I've got every different? I've got every Call of Duty still on the disc in the cupboard, mm. and they're all backwards compatible, so I could just stick it except for COD Four if I wanted to. Uh, COD Four got was... remastered, so they didn't. Fucking oh yeah, I've got the remastered version though. So mm. I bought that when they said, "Oh, this is never going to be sold separate." So Sounds I bought, nice. I bought it with um, what was the one? It must have been Advanced Warfare, I think was the one it came with. Maybe the next one, but anyway, I bought it. I paid seventy quid for the for the extra pack that you got the game, and then six months later, oh, you can buy it for twenty quid now on its own. Of course. Of course you fucking can. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so there you go. I, I did say, I looked at some of the Game Pass games, but fuck me, there's been some shit in the last couple of weeks. Utter you fucking You don't get Vampire Survivors on your Xbox, do you? No, didn't even get the good game. Mm. All right. Um, oh, okay. I fired up Borderlands 3 as well, just in case there was an update. Because I'm hoping someone might want to be able to play a little bit of that. I downloaded it, by the way. I've downloaded it. Okay. Dave, yeah, maybe have you downloaded be... it? Uh, He's I already got it, hasn't he? It. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, yeah, I've already got it. I've, I've oh, played okay. two days' worth of it, apparently. So, um, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. just wait, waiting for you two guys to um to let me know when you're ready. I'm free all day tomorrow from about 2 o'clock till about 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Mm. I could probably Rose play tomorrow. For a walk. I'm walking tomorrow, yeah, which will take me up to about midday. Uh, sorry, e- early evening your time. So outrageous! Uh, no, I'll be around for for your evening, but I'll, I, I'm up for it. I've downloaded it. So, uh, is it time to uninstall Back for Blood? Probably. <gasps> Part of me still holds a candle for it. Like, yeah. It's odd, isn't it? I really did enjoy it. I just want to finish it. I'm on the last fucking level and I cannot I cannot get a team together to finish it. You cannot if do you, it with randoms. And I you can't know the problem I ended up it. having with that game is it's fucking hectic. And like there's a part of me just like I don't know if I can handle that much hecticness for like an hour or two hours. Like mm. I need or some downtime. Hours. Back for Blood doesn't yeah. give you much downtime. No, it's not very calming, is it? No. Um, so I don't know. I haven't okay. uninstalled it yet, though. Uninstall Valorant. 
Mr. It's not going to yeah. happen. Oh, yeah, that's hectic. Debt and ten. Uh, I should talk about it's... Pillars of Eternity if you want. Does it, uh, what is, is it, that? You could probably talk longer than you actually played it. You <laughs> played it for, I think it was about 11 minutes I looked at my time, play time. Uh, I've designed my character and spoke to two people in a town and then uninstalled it. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I played some of this. You walk in by Rings a river. A bell. Is hey? there a river? Is there a river involved? Near at the beginning? Um, I can't remember. There might well, it's a side it was side scrolling. I don't remember a river, just in a little it was in a um a wood. Might be confused with area. another game. It looks similar. Mm. It's just like isometric y mm. type of thing, isn't it? C R P G. Old yeah, school. Was... Like original Fallout. The C stands for crap. No. <laughs> uh, okay, are we good? Let I'm me done. get on. Get, let's yeah. uh, get over to Dave. I'm just aware of the time. Sorry, guys. That's all. But yeah. get on to me. Um, so yeah, I'll play some more Slay, like Slay the Spire. Uh, I don't know how much more I'm going to play with it. Um, I've completed it with three characters out of the four. I got to the fourth one, and I don't know how to play them. Oh God! What was that all about? Oh, uh, fucking hell! The uh, fourth character, the girl. Yeah, what the hell? There's a there's a, a a way that you can stop see the cards that are being pulled uh, in your deck. Um, She's got enchantments and shit. Uh, going yeah, on. I it, haven't got a clue. Yeah, I, I I'm sure there is some really good builds on it. I, I couldn't work it out, and I was also trying to. There's a once you've done it with the three characters, there's a unlock that you get additional um parts that you can like not get upgrades but get like parts that i think get you past the boss to get you to a second boss end boss and it's oh i can't be asked with that um uh, and then i played a little bit of the vampire the masquerade um and then i also on the back of somebody on discord saying about v rising the game, which has apparently um, been in beta for a little while, um, has been released. I thought, what the hell? I looked at a few, few videos. Um, it's a, it's kind of like a, it's not a top down. It's a 3D render of 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 like um of you looking at your character that's a vampire another vampire thing which was a, it's quite vampire themed this week um and it's a little bit of Velheim. it's a little bit of um uh i don't know what else really it's, diablo it's diablo a little that. bit yeah um it's kind of um it's i've only i've only played a couple of hours of it um but you sort of you gather resources you explore the map and and kill enemies um at the moment it's i'm playing a pve so i'm not playing with any other characters i've, I've created my own private server so is it like on, running on your machine is it similar to valheim yeah it's fine it's it's it's, too, it's really good um it's not a it's not a third or a first person view well it's kind of like a third but it's quite a high, high up sort of looking down um view of it you can sort of scroll in um but it only makes sort of the look down a bit closer so i always have it as, as far as possible um to start with you 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 have um melee weapons um you do get additional abilities which include like um a, i don't know a vampiric missile and also a crossbow um but they're mainly used to sort of pull pull creatures and or people to you so you can take them out individually um and yeah I, I it's it's kind of like a bit of a um base creation resource gathering uh boss battley um style thing and the map is extremely large um that you play on um to start with you only you're only on your own two feet and then you get additional abilities that you can 
change into certain creatures. So I've got I can uh, change into a wolf, which increases your um, movies. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, and also has the added bonuses of that actually wolves don't actually try and eat you uh, when you're in pass because it's they're one of their own. Their own. Um, I understand that you can get uh, a horse, which is a bit more movement, uh, but you're a vampire and everything tries to eat you. Um, and yeah, it looks really good. Um, I've, I've had a look at a few things. Um, there is quite sort of high level um uh end bossy things um in that um certain parts of the map are higher levels than others but then there's sort of roaming bosses and by hunters that are like top level that you shouldn't even try and get to or try you know try and engage until you're extremely high level your your level is based on your equipment level so you don't actually upgrade or receive experience but you sort of upgrade your equipment which you need to do some sort of scavenging and 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 get certain resources off certain areas whether it be in animals or undead or humans or um there's another one i can't remember which one it is but like yeah there's a there's a lot of resource gathering and 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 stuff and base building um but it's really enjoyable actually um yeah i've been playing on my own uh for a little bit there's there's co-op and say there's a sort of a co-op pve uh play versus environment um and then there is some um pvp so every you get a, a number of people on a server and it's play versus player so uh as soon as you see another player um you know you either try and engage or avoid them um you can't and just like make friends with other randos you, you can also make friends with other, other characters as well there there is actually one of the starting um uh abilities that you have is to share your pooled health and um blood level so all the different characters has a blood level um which is like a creature or a frail creature, or a human, or a specific type of humans, wherever it be in, um, a thug, or a, um, a rogue, or um, a miner, or and then yeah, there's lots of other bit uh, like additional sort of blood types, and the types of people that you can feed on um, increase your blood type to give you more abilities. But if you change blood type, say you've you've been feeding on on the thugs exclusively to get a bigger pool of health, a uh, bigger hit, um, uh, a cooldown on some of your abilities. If you then feed on an animal or creature, that resets it back to zero, and you've got to sort of keep feeding off animals again to to get your pooled um, uh, sort of experience on that particular blood type up so there is that that that's good um there is a day night cycle um that if you are in the day and then you're you're not in shade which the shade is dynamic the the sun goes over and it's rendered by the shadows um so you can't just sit in the same place like the, the sun actually moves um which is kind of cool um that's good it is yeah yeah it's 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 not it's not a massive mechanic it's not something that you like actually stops your progress but it just makes you think okay can you just right, sleep let's... through the day though can you just go oh, fuck it i'll get bed you can get you know you can go through the day uh, there's plenty of forests and and like additional paths that you can take that's not on sort of the main paths through the map um but taking you through those like makes you encountered wolves or um other plant creatures um um or you can yeah or you can just sneak along the side of the road along the side of the tree cover um but in the day there's more um humans um patrolling um and then at the night there's sort of more undead patrolling um all these factions do fight within each other so you can you i actually came across like a big fight of a bear a couple of skeletons and some humans having a big big old fight um, which was nice because I just sort of mopped up and uh, and hoovered up all their resources. 
Um, and yeah, it's it is a fun little game. Um, uh, I definitely want to. I have got a Valheim esque. Um, I want to improve my base. I want to get more mm. more resources. And, and how's and that improve. sort of side of the crafting compared? It's to? it's it's okay. Uh, it's not three D modeled, so it's not the same as Valheim where it is like uh, a vertical um, uh, mm. there is verticality in the map in that some parts are higher than others um, but uh, there's not a verticality in that um, uh, actually sort of creating a base um, it's sort of a 2D plane in, well the one that I've experienced so far is that you're building walls, you're building floors, uh, you're putting things in areas um and you can you can't stand back and look at your house and go well that looks good uh like it, it, no the game does look really good but yeah there's not a um yeah you, you're not sort of adding any additional structures on like a 20 a 13 or 45 degree angle and and you know you you're making like mini sculptures which i actually really enjoyed in part Valheim. um but no it's not like that but it's... you enjoyed slowing the server down by making extremely <laughs> complex buildings <laughs> yeah. um but no there, there there is a little bit of that um in more of a sort of a uh an isometric view of making castles and uh your your area and um there's lots of um material management so that you i don't know you 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 mine like i don't know a thousand stone and so you got to put some of the stone into the grinder which creates dust which you can put into um oh uh of uh, phrases is i did phrases clearly got bored. yeah um so you, then from that you you from the stone dust you add clay and then you can make bricks and so there is some um yeah resource sort of management and gathering and and exploitation of creating different materials for different benefit oh um yeah it's it's good it's um still in early access i don't think it's more than 20 quid on steam probably a bit cheaper quid, than that. i think it was 15, quid. 15 pound 50 or something um it's a great game um i i'd love to play it um i know uh saying earlier uh the rude um has mentioned he's um creating a um a private server uh for pve uh co-op um which i'm gonna join up the your character doesn't actually transfer between servers so if you're playing on one specific server as pve you can't transfer that to another a, a friend's server um so the character is per server not actually mm -hmm. uh persistent between them um so it's pretty I, exclusive to val valheim though not that was quite surprising about valheim that it let you do that that was unusual yeah yeah, yeah. so i don't know i think a lot just maybe I, I've, I've seen a lot of questions about that um maybe valheim you know sort of There's, i guess i know like Probably there is a reason for not doing that. Is like, yeah, people can just go and fucking make their character extremely high leveled on their oh, way. Yeah, probably some yeah. like exploits and stuff like that, and then go and. Well, it's, it's not only that; it's that you can create your own server, which and then you can create your own server rules on the server. Yeah, exactly. I privately, which includes like everything is. Oh, my farming that. rate's like twenty thousand times yeah. faster than it would normally exactly. be. Yeah exactly exactly so yeah there's a very specific reason why um because it's completely exploitable uh for pvp um you know somebody playing on a pvp from uh server from scratch from from level zero literally jump in and somebody comes in plays 10 minutes of of um a ridiculous server where everything's um yeah 10,000 percent times drop and anything like that and it just comes a wreck in and it's like that's not fair mm -hmm. um so you know it does make it fair i uh, i don't i i specifically i'm not after the pvp aspect um was there was was there much pvp in valheim it was like a you had to kind of opt in almost to it weren't you yeah i think so i'm not sure i never really played it public the it wasn't only... really a pvp game though was it it was a no. PvE. 
It was really a big, you know. Yeah. There was um, enough PVE problems. To, yeah. yeah. To take um, care of. Whereas, like, I I have been re- like reading and watching a few people doing PvP, and and there's a lot more um, abilities that people have got that I haven't got, uh, which in- includes like turning into rats or into uh, frogs or different animals. Oh, that and, famous vampire animal, a frog. Um, or bats. The people try and change into bats as well. Um, the bat sounds a bit more like vampires. Yeah. But so that's that. I think that's why the reason why there's other random enemies that, or not random, random animals that you can turn into that it it spices it up so people just don't go um, slicing through everything they all the animals that they see. Getting murdered uh, by a frog. Yeah. Um. Uh. And yeah, it that there there I think there's quite a lot to it. Um. I think we'll see. It's not hugely popular at the moment. Um. But it's definitely getting there. Uh, I've seen a few. There's definitely been a bit of a buzz around it. I think. I feel. Yeah. Like. Uh, it it just seems it's still very early access. There's a there's a couple of um oh what's the word for it ease of life uh, I'm not sure what's the word quality uh, of life yeah quality of life um improvements they can make um things like the at the moment the chests don't hold a lot and. You kind of need a lot of um, resources to do a lot of the upgrades. Uh, so you, you start end up with. I've got like four or five chests in my base at the moment, um, and not being able to use the resources in the chests to do the building. So I've got to go into each chest and and take the resources into my into my hand or my backpack and build from there. And things like that, like actually, just let me use what I've got in my chest in my base. Like it'll be so much easier, um, because yeah, like the, there's not a very good sorting um, like uh, system. Like you can't just run into your base and everything gets out your back back into your bases, which I know there is in a few other games. Um, considering that a lot of the game is about the resources and. And how you use them, especially in regards to creating your gear, which which is basically upgrading your your character. Um, there's yeah, there's more that can be done on that. Um, there's a few other bits and bobs. Uh, I'm not going to go over them completely, but um, let's say still early access. Uh, they're updating it. They're updating it very re- um, uh, regularly uh, at the moment. Um, so far, it's just been like odds and sods there was a really annoying bug where i've got dual screen set up and i've set the game to be a full screen like app on one one monitor <laughs> hello bella um and it doesn't actually lock the mouse to the game uh which is very disconcerting considering you like i use it a lot uh my mouse to sort of look around um, a lot so I've actually had to download something separately to lock my mouse to my monitor uh, I think it's called DTM or DMT um, which they're going to they've already said they're, they're looking into and getting it fixed um, which shouldn't be too hard so there'll be a, probably be an update on that but yeah still an early access um, but I'm really enjoying it mm. Mm. Uh, and that's it that's all I've been playing Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, last but not least is me. I got really nothing to throw in that's any different from what I've played before. This week I played a little bit more Immortals Phoenix Rising. I complained last week I had that bug. I think it's ironed itself out, which I sort of hoped it would after a few hard resets and saves. And I, I got to a like a major plot point so i was hoping that it might write write itself after that with a with a new sort of save um it did the puzzles remain to be pretty cool i think i'm cooling off on it a little bit because it's there's a lot of game there like if you want to lose yourself in a game of tons of yeah i mean i guess it's like anybody who plays probably the assassin's creed they they're all it's the same sort of thing right there's tons to do there's tons to go the map is 
thank goodness this week I found the Y button, which turns off completed tasks on my map because that yeah. certainly made everything a lot more, a lot less overwhelming um, and easier to uh, to navigate. But it's cool. Um, I'm not totally like there is so much to upgrade in terms of your abilities and your weapons and your armor and whatever. I mean, there's just like every so often you have to return to Zeus's tower or whatever it is and do your upgrades. Um, I'm a bit weary about a lot of the fighting upgrades. I can't like it's their upgrades where, you know, already like it's tri it, you block, say you hit both shoulder buttons to block a move. Well, you can go and upgrade to so it that so you do a something like say just for whatever sake it's called a mega mega blast or something I don't know so you block and then you've bought the ability which after you've done a successful block you can press the right trigger or the X button and you'll do a sort of a double hit or something that does th twice as much damage but I'm like. I don't know if that appeals to me. Like, I don't really want to spend money to now have to learn a new ability that's, like, make me stronger. Like, I like just swinging my axe with the trigger button. That's, you know, that's with the trigger. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And and I want to upgrade my axe, you know. You want to play God of War. Yeah, I don't want, I just don't fancy learning combos, right? It's just not really what I've signed up for. So I'm not bothering with that. I'm putting all I can upgrades into anything that isn't fucking a, a, a an attacking combo. So I'm up, but I'm but I'm still doing okay because I'm upgrading my axes hit points. You know, you get a nice buff every time you do get to upgrade your axe or your arrows. You get you know you get a nice jump in damage that you do. Um, what makes this different to just playing Assassin's Creed, the new Assassin's well, Creed? Um, I probably not best place to comment on that because I haven't played an Assassin's Creed for years. Um, probably not much. I think it's a little bit smoother in the gameplay. It's a bit maybe less than like... It's definitely less serious. Um, yeah, I don't know. It I, maybe because it feels more like I don't know. I just never got on with Assassin's Creed. It just, but I, it, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I played the early. I just. So like it looks first a little Assassin's... bit more zelda -y than Assassin's Creed, I guess, but it plays a lot like Assassin's Creed by the look of sound of it. I think overall, the sort of it's it's like Assassin's Creed. Yeah, to me, it doesn't play that well, though. I mean, you know, it still feels janky. Like it's not. Sorry, I'm looking. At... I've changed my monitor, so I'm looking over here now <clears throat> to look at Neil when he was asking that question. But it's um, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's all right, I guess. I played a lot of. I put a lot of hours into it. I like sinking into the couch and playing it for a bit. I'm starting to, you know, it it is pretty neat in the way that suddenly I come like just the other day, I'm just wandering around and I suddenly come across like I'm heading over towards fucking a thousand meters in the west is where I need to go to, and I'm like, okay, well I'll just head over there. And then I came across this thing and I have no idea what it is. And I had to sit and look at it or whatever. And it took me, you know, a few minutes to figure out what I needed to do or I thought what I needed to do. And then, you know, another five to 10 minutes of actually doing what I needed to do, which was a skill based puzzle. You know, oh, and I no. did it and, and I did it. No, but it was all right. It was all right. I did it right. You know, and so I thought it's like, that's pretty cool. And then at, at that point, you've completely lost all thought of what you're originally doing, you know. And then suddenly you're like, oh, shit, you know, that was pretty cool. I wonder if there's any more shit around here that I should look for. Mm. And so you suddenly disappear off and you go searching around in an area and, and you've spotted that there's a chest over there. And, and now there's um, one of these, um, let's call it a gate. I can't remember what they're called, but like a gate. And you go through that gate and that takes you into the main puzzle worlds, right? And, and those, you need, those you really want to finish because every time you finish one of those, you get a Zeus's lightning. And you need the Zeus's lightnings to really level up your health and stuff. So, you know, it, it's in your interest to go exploring. It rewards you for exploring. Um, yeah, I don't know. What is it? It's like that. It's just maybe it's just got that OCD collectible thing. Maybe the fighting's not overly complicated, complicated, but you still need to concentrate. Otherwise, you get your ass kicked. But you've uh, personally done that yourself by not learning the new combos. <laughs> so. 
Well, I haven't. I just have chosen not to to upgrade those. Yeah. So I have, you know, I'm still getting more. Yeah, I'm probably see. It's difficult to say, right? Because maybe I didn't where I didn't buy is like an up an upgrade hit combo. I may have bought something that helps me gather right. things quicker. And so if I'm gathering things quicker, it means I'm going to upgrade other things quicker. So you're sort of yeah. You know, you're balancing you're, you're, it. You're yeah. balancing it out with another thing that when you're not doing, or the, so it feels like anyway. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I can't. I, you know, I definitely can recommend it if somebody's looking for some. I but it's not serious, but yeah, it's as serious as you want it to be. I guess maybe you could bump the difficulty up. It's pretty tough, but mm. I don't know. It's a big bag of all right. <laughs> I guess. Big bag of all um, and so yeah. PlayStation so, um, Premium, whatever it's going to be called. Yeah, that's a PlayStation. It's on PlayStation. So. But uh, look, okay, that takes us close. I mean, we've done, that's a show and a half we've done there tonight. It's been a lot of fun. Um, we've covered a lot of ground, for sure. Um, any final words? Anybody want to? See ya. All right. I've got to do my outro, <laughs> I do my outro first. I can't just say Go bye. On. Come on, don't take his moment of glory away from him. <laughs> it's the only thing I've got responsibility of. Let this me is have what it. He looks forward to. <laughs> so, are we? Are we all good? Do you want we some gonna... more responsibility, Dave? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um. Cool. Okay. Well. Um. I will say thank you for listening to the Seal Podcast. If you'd like to ask us questions or get involved, please contact us either on Twitter at Seal Podcast. Email us at sealpodcast at gmail.com or join us on a Discord server. A link is pinned to Twitter. We have YouTube and Twitch channels, which we upload and stream to regularly. Um, we'll do a quick shout out of the people chatting, but it's mainly been Lithorius. Mark. Oh, Mark. Yeah. Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Um, I wasn't and... watching the chat. I do apologize. I didn't have Twitch open. Enough, no, so... that's all right. It's uh, a few lurkers. Uh, he was just and... basically slating PUBG. Pretty much. Um, and telling me to get on with it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's it. So, um, yeah. Um, hopefully, uh, I will get on to streaming some V Rising because I am interested in, in getting onto that. And. Uh... And getting onto a um, co-op server, and maybe if we do all get together and do some Borderlands, we'll um, upload that as well. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Sounds okay. Good. All right, Dave. All right. Yep. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who contributed, uh, listens, does all the good stuff. Anyway, just in, you know, is around, makes it worthwhile. Thank you very much. Uh, and so until next time, then thanks. See you next time. Cheers, guys. See you later. He's waving. That's all right. He did say laters.